Oh wow. It's an eepy, sleepy kind of day today. It's raining outside. I'm bundled up. Just gonna play some RuneScape. I actually have a plan today. Madness. Oh, also. <gasps> My birdhouses are done. We can start with that. <laughs> Hi, Milky. Hi. I want a licky emote. I need a licky and a dance. But that means I have to, like, animate, and that's hard. Why does my... My dick site pendant doesn't... Doesn't... What? Now it's there? I don't get it. Oh, wait. Maybe now it'll work? I don't know. The licks are the best. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we chillin' today. We chillin'. Got my little fucking mole slippers on that I wish I had IRL, because when I was making dinner last night, the kitchen floor was so cold. <laughs> Two bird nests. Oh, none bird nest. Music's a bit quiet. Give me more. None bird nest. Come on. Although at least I get XP. Yummy nummy XP. Give me the level. Number go up. Level 46. Come on, give me a good seed. Fuck. Yes. Okay. The, the plan is I'm going to go do my Slayer task, I think. Um, I've got my skills up that I needed to do the, um, the Varrock Diary, the next one. Um, and I also have some other quests that I've been informed are a good thing for me to do. So those are in the old brain, ready for doing. Um, but let's start off with some Slayer. I've also got a clue scroll I can do. <laughs> Alright, so Slayer, I need this, I need, wait, do I need that? Yes. This, uh, uh, this, this. This. And runes. Yeah, because I was thinking about doing a different spell, but then I looked it up and it's kind of not worth it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, I don't really need food where I'm going.
I am taking a fairy ring, aren't I? I'm going here. So I could fairy ring from here and go up, or I could glory from, like, here and go across. Hmm. I'll fairy ring. I'm trying to, like, not spend an absurd amount of money on, like, teleports and stuff at the moment. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe it's more efficient to, like, use the teleport charges to get somewhere and then make money at the place to pay off however much the teleport cost. I don't know. I feel like I've probably forgotten something and I'm gonna have to TP back anyway. Uh... Wait, what was it? Eh, leh, leh. CKR. Boop. And then I go north. I forgot how good the jungle jams were. fuck is Feldip? I don't know. Don't go on random boats. Am I still going the right way? Yes. It is quite a trek to get here, but hopefully I shouldn't have to leave. Oh, a random ass boat there. Ah, sorry! I'm just passing through. Here we go. This old place. Yum. Yeah, and I shouldn't need food because there's just random slices of cake here. Huh? Subby wubbies. That was amazing. Generic, thank you so much for the gifties. Oh my goodness. Okay, I guess you want five spins, huh? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Where's me wheel? This is some pretty good wheel spin music, actually. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hang on, I need to get a note up. <laughs> We've got one. Read My Immortal. What chapter am I even on? Five or something? Fuck. Okay. One strawberry voice for 30 minutes. Okay. An hour. No. Why? But 
The wheel's mocking me. Yeah, it kind of is. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> that was so close. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's all of them, right? That's five. <laughs> oh shit, am I gonna have to read read my immortal and strawberry voice? I kind of am, aren't I? Oh. Oh, fuck. Hang on. I need to get my timer open now. Eh. Uh... Oh, actually, hang on. Let me drink some fucking coffee and stuff before I start this nonsense. Oh my god, I made that so sugary, but I'm gonna need the energy. Good lord. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me, let me, <laughs> just to log out real quick. Let me just log out. <laughs> oh my god. Timer is there. Since the wheel's cost goes up soon, I guess the world record is not happening ever. What do you mean? It might. Also, I don't know if I am going to up the cost. I might not up the cost. Because it's going kind of good at the moment. I feel like if I upped it, it would never, like... Not never spin, it just wouldn't spin a fun amount. I feel like it's currently a fun amount. I might have to up it if, like, it gets too crazy. Um, but currently, I think maybe this test has gone kind of good. No timer, not half an hour. That would be too easy. Okay. No! Yes! No? Wait, that's also the wrong amount. Hang on. Heads of lettuce! Okay, let's fucking go! My immortal! I hope if I could spell! Okay, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four... Wait, no, we did chapter four! That's when they, uh... They... <laughs> They fucked in the Forbidden Forest, and then Dumbledore came along and said, What the hell are you doing, you motherfuckers? So now we're on chapter five. Okay. For the note, stop flamming. If you flam, it means you're a prep or a posser. Wait, I'm putting music on. Uh, you're a prep or a posser. The only reason Dumbledore swore is because he had a headache, okay? And on top of that, he was mad at them for having sex. P.S. I'm not updating until I get five good reviews. Dumbledore made... Made and Draco and I follow him. He kept shouting at us angrily. You ludicrous fools, he shouted. I started to cry tears of blood down my pallid face. Draco comforted me. When we went back to the castle, Dumbledore took us to Professor Snape and Professor McGonagall, who were both looking very angry. They were having sexual intercourse in the Forbidden Forest, he yelled in a furious voice. Why did you do such a thing, you mediocre dunces? asked Professor McGonagall. How dare you, demanded Professor Snape. And then Draco shrieked, because I love her. Everyone was quiet. 
Dumbledore and Professor McGonagall still looked mad, but Professor Snape said, Fine, very well, you may go up to your rooms. Draco and I went upstairs while the teachers glared at us. Are you okay, Ebony? Draco asked me gently. Yeah, I guess. I lied. I went to the girls' dorm and brushed my teeth and my hair changed to a low-cut, black floor-length dress with a red lace all around it, black high heels. When I came out, Draco was standing in front of the bathroom and he started to sing, I Just Wanna Live by Good Charlotte. I was so flattered, even though he wasn't supposed to be there. We hugged and kissed. After that, we said goodnight and he reluctantly went back to his room. Can't imagine raising my child for 18 years and it turns out like this, truly praying for your parents at your age. I don't think I will. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> okay, I've done my immortal. Now, RuneScape. Yes. Boop, 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 boop. Also, for some reason, my, um, the music in RuneScape isn't looping. I don't know why. Let's put it on random. Do, do, do. Excuse me, boss giant. Fuck you. I don't actually remember how many of these I have to kill. Ah, thank you for the steak bakes! I think it's something ridiculous, like... 70 or something, I don't know. I think I need to keep heads of lettucing. Otherwise I'll lose my, lose my voice, it will go wrong. I mean, it's already pretty wrong, but... Oh, 72! There we go! Mmm, yummy runes and bones. That's not where I wanted you to go. Move! Thank you! Okay, so I was gonna, like... I was gonna read my... My cult book while doing this safe spot shit. But I don't know if I could do that while speaking like strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> Unless, like, I, um, I might, I could go do the quests. I can do them in Strawberry Voice and then come back here later. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, I didn't do my farming earlier. Oh, well. I've been kind of neglecting that because I don't really need to level it more. I got the skill up as high as I needed it to. For now, at least. I don't like the way that they melt into the floor. It's kind of fucking weird. Ow! That's not what I wanted you to do! That's not what I wanted you to do! Get back! I don't think I can tick manipulate burying bones while I'm, um... Safe spotting. I don't think that works. Chaos runes! Fuck yes! How many attacks does it take me to kill these? It's quite a lot, right? I don't know if I'm gonna have enough runes. Fuck. You'd have thought that because, like, they're made of tree and I'm using fire that it would, like, do extra damage, but that's ridiculous. I suppose this isn't Pokemon rules. But I wish it was. Oh, 
What's that? Sapphire! Maybe I should use the better spell. I don't know. There's also a quest I can do to go get... Uh, where is it? This? This spell's apparently pretty good. So I don't know, maybe I should do that. Death runes, fuck yeah! Ow! Don't touch me! Like a head of lettuce because they're made of grass and leaves and tree just like a lettuce they grow on trees Watermelon seed? That's not what I'm here for. Okay, at least the music's working now. I don't know why it wasn't looping before. I was considering reading the book anyway, but then my throat was like, no, actually, fuck you. <laughs> Maybe that would be a bad idea. That's a fucking good emote. Fuck! Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go questing. I'll come back to this Slayer shit later, when I can speak properly again. <laughs> right now this ain't working. Go! Please? Thank you! Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Hi, Wasnarb! Is that how I pronounce that? I mean, it's hard to tell when I'm speaking like a dickhead. Wasnarb! I got it! Fuck yeah! Wait, shit, I think I'm going the wrong way. Am I? I don't know. Help me! Oh, that's cute! I didn't notice that before! A little, like, rivery bridge thing. Don't fucking poison me! Eh. Eh. 
Take me away! Okay, what was first on my list? Where's my list? Ah, uh, there. Enlightened Journey and Garden of Tranquility. Okay. Enlightened Journey. I need to boost my crafting, but that's fine. What do I need to do that? Osiris crafting boost. Um, mushroom pie. I got one of those before. That was fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mushroom Hi Oh, why is it so expensive? Oh well. Okay. Ball of wool. Eight MD sacks. Ah uh, a bowl. A tinder box. Three Happy Ross Great Um One sack of potatoes It'll probably be cheaper if I just buy ten potatoes and put them in a sack. An unlit candle. No. Candle. Sorry for being a bit negative earlier. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Candle. What is this music? <laughs> Yay! Okay. Uh, some dye, yellow dye, give, thank you, red, Duh. red dye, uh, thank you, I need so much shit, S uh, silk, ten, Great. Ah. Uh, ten logs. Do I not have ten logs? I guess not. Whatever. Fucking, I'll just buy them. I don't care. Ten logs. Give them to me. Willow branches. How much are they? Whoops, that's not how you spell. Willow branch. How much is that? Uh, yeah, I'll see if I can if I can get them myself. Okay. Uh, deposit all potatoes. Get another sack. Withdraw all potato. Oh fuck! Wait, hang on, hang on. Uh. You mean the others? Fuck yeah, we love this song. Give me that. Yes, delicious money. Okay, so I clearly don't need all of this at once because that doesn't all fit in my inventory. What do I want first? Ah, uh, eight empty sacks. What do I not need? 
The logs? I don't need the logs yet. What else? Why did I get four papyrus? I need three. Whoops. Oh well. <laughs> I still can't fit all of this in my pocket. What? I don't need this right now. Ah. Oh, I already had some fucking papyrus. Do I need papyrus? Do I need the silk yet? Why is there so much shit to do? How much inventory space do I have left? What is that? That's cloth. Can you write silk? Oh, I can fit it all! Okay, and apparently I'm not allowed any armor. So I'll go naked. Except. Hang on. Hang on. I need my slippers. They're important to me. Okay. Go to Port Serene and get a boat to Entrana. Fuck, I. Mm -mm. Shit. How am I planning on getting there? Ah! Uh, I don't know. Fuck it, let's just do a lummy teleport and walk. Whatever. It's a chill day today. Mm, fucking, I don't have to do anything quickly. I don't have to be efficient. There's always something in my eye. Ah. That is not chill vibes. I keep thinking about that guy who said I should act my age, and it's really funny to me. <laughs> Imagine being so boring. Where am I going? In Trana. I'm so slow because I'm holding so much crap. Hello! Whee! Talk to Augustus, it says... where? Over there! Okay. Oh! It's the, the balloon transport system! Okay. That's handy. Hi! You should speak to- I am speaking to him! Oh wait, shit, hang on. There we go. Greetings! Hello, what are you doing? Ah, it's a secret, I'm afraid. You don't meet all of the requirements to start the quest. Lies. Hello. Would you like to be my number one accomplice? I mean, assistant? Who are you? I'm August. I'm going to call him August. 
I'm going to be the first balloonist in all of Galenor. Balloon what? I thought only monks lived on Ontrana. Well, they do. I was a monk. But I'm so sick of living on this island, I want to explore new frontiers. And go where no man has gone before? Maybe, that sounds good. I was thinking just over Tavoli, though. Why not take the boat, then? Ugh, oh, ocean? Don't talk to me about the ocean. Oh dear, I feel ill. Whoa, okay, no ocean. How exactly are you going to get off the island, then? I've devised a new way to travel, but I need an assistant balloonist to help me build my design. Are you an experienced adventurer? <laughs> experienced adventurer willing to help me? Before starting this quest, be aware, I don't give a shit. Yes! Wonderful, let's get started. Wait, I don't know exactly what we're doing. Of course, of course, how foolish of me. Well, we're going to make a balloon. Which is what exactly? Let me show you. Oh, good, thank you. How exactly do you plan to get to Tavoli in that? How will that work? Have you noticed how ashes float above fires for long periods of time? What's your point? Don't you see? It's the hot air! It rises, taking the ashes with it! I had this epiphany while I was at the glassblower's house. If we pump hot air into an envelope, it will rise because it's lighter than the cold air around it. Come again? We're going to, uh, we're going to sew a big sack and light a fire under it. Once the sack fills with hot air, it will begin to rise, taking us along with the basket. You seem pretty confident about this. Have you tested it? Well, no. You see, I don't have the materials to make any test balloons. That's where you come in. You're going to collect materials for two test runs of the balloon. You'll need to get three sheets of papyrus, one ball of wool, one full sack of potatoes, and one unlit candle. What am I supposed to do with all that junk? When you have all of it, bring it to me and I'll explain what to do next. I have, I have it already, let's just go, oh. Hello. Wait, shit. Hello. Have we got the materials? Yes. Good, you have everything. Now I need you to create an original balloon. Oh, origami, not original, I'm so blind. First, use the papyrus on the ball of wool. The papyrus is folded into an origami box and the yarn will support the heat source. Next, add the unlit candle to the balloon structure. It will act as the heat source. Once you have done that, let me know and we'll begin our experiment. Okay. Ball of wool, papyrus. Balloon structure. Yay. Talk. I finished the origami balloon. I used to be kind of good at origami. My, um, my grandparents got me like this calendar, which was a big stack of paper, and each day you would have a new origami thing to do. It was so fucking fun. Wonderful, I'll take that and we'll conduct our first experiment. Oh. Whee! Oh, that's so cute! Look at it go! Oh no! <laughs> that was perfect, my hypothesis was right! Did you not see the burning? One more test, then we shall proceed! Burning? Fire? Hello? We shall meekly go! No, no, it needs to sound grander! We shall cautiously go! We're doomed. Wait, do I need another candle? Oh no, he's gonna do it. Okay. Do you have the other two sheets of papyrus and a full sack of potatoes? Yes. Commendable. If I may have those, I will construct this experiment. Okay. Whee! Oh god, oh god. Oh god! That went down like a lead balloon! I thought you didn't know what a balloon was! Anyway... Those peasants, where did they come from? Ah, the flash mob phenomenon! Many have hypothesized that they're be beings of great power sent to smite those who question the gods. And this isn't worrying because... Don't worry, I know exactly what I'm doing. Those experiments went extraordinarily well. 
Was I the only one who saw them burning? Burning? Yes, very well indeed. Now we'll start building the balloon that will carry us off the island. This task will be much greater than the last two. I hope you're prepared for it. This is madness. You need to get the following items. Yellow dye, red dye, ten pieces of silk, a clay bowl, and eight sandbags. Sandbags can be made by getting empty sacks and filling them at the sand pit here on Intrana. However, there are other sand pits around the world that will work as well. Okay, whatever. Bring the items to me while you're waiting for the tree to grow. Wait, what? You didn't tell me about a tree? What tree? I'm going to give you a willow sapling and a basket of apples. You must plant the willow sapling in a tree patch. If you give the basket of apples to the gardener near the patch, he'll look after the tree for you while it grows. Don't lose the sapling. It took me a long time to save up enough for one. If you do, you'll have to pay me 30,000 coins for any one. Once the tree is fully grown, cut 12 branches from it using secateurs. Bring the branches back here and use them on the metal frame on the platform to create the basket. Here you go. Now be very careful not to lose it. Okay. Sand. Wait, shit, hang on. Use. Sand. Do I have to do this one by one? Oh, for fuck's sake. Sand. 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 Okay. Um... Right. Mm. Where's a tree patch? This music is so thought cancelling. So this this just says farming patch. Oh, it's a hops patch. I see. I see. Um, I don't want to do hops. Ah. Uh, my brain. Oh wait, I know where there's a tree. Hang on. All RuneScape music is good. It is, but my brain couldn't function. <laughs> it was too focused on the sick tunes. Okay, this is a tree patch, right? Yeah! Wait, no, spirit tree! Fuck! I need regular tree! Does this still work? Oh. I'm gonna test it. Are you ill or putting on a voice? I can't tell. I'm putting on a voice, I'm sorry! There's like another hour left of me speaking like this, I do apologise. Would you hurry up? Right. This isn't gonna work, is it? No. Ah! I need a tree patch. Where can I plant a tree? Ah, Google. Tree patch. Um, where are they? Where are they? Lumbridge. Varrock's got one. Falador's got one. Am I closer to Falador right now? I think I am. Yeah, let's just go Falador. Wee. Right, where was it? The garden or something? The fancy schmancy garden? Here we go. Tree patch. Hmm. 
Mmm, farming XP. Become the patch, smell the patch, eat the patch. Delicious. Okay, sapling. You need a spade to do that. Oh, for fuck's sake. You. Oh, wait. You. Spade, please. Thanks. Bonk. Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, I need to pay you. Yes. Thank you. Now what? You sound like someone trying to do a British accent. But I am British. <laughs> Bro, this fucking tune. Um, what am I doing? Give Augustus the stuff. But I don't have the twigs. Oh, okay, I don't need the twigs yet. I could do my other farming stuff while I wait. I guess. Mm. Oh wait, let me fucking put this pie away. I don't need it. Oh, this plant pot. I don't need these. Mm, go away. I still need all of this. Shit, there's so much stuff. Ah, wait, no, hold on. If I'm farming, I need my stuff. Should I just give him the stuff first? Oh, fucking just get all this stuff in my pockets. Wait! I do want this so I can get back quicker. Heads of lettuce! I'm going the wrong way. How long does it take for trees to grow? Where's, uh, this? There it is. What the fuck? Where is it? No, not this. I'm not doing that. I'm doing this. Oh! My sweet corn died! I just realized I went the wrong way. I wasn't actually planning to do this yet. Wait, hold on. I need to go to the boat. That's what I'm doing. Boat. Hello! Wait, this guy. It's so sudden. It's not like, would you like to go on the boat? You're just gone. Hello, please. I want to drop all of this stuff. It's so heavy. Here, have all of this shit. Oh, just take it all. Oh, just have it. Just have it all. There. What's the bowl for? Hold the fuel. Oh, okay. Great. Need to build the basket. How are you getting on with the willow? It's fine. Whatever. Leave me alone. Right. Whoops. Whoops. Teleport. 
Meow. Now. Um. Yes. Um. Should I do the- No. I just answered my own question. <laughs> oh, how are my birdhouses? <gasps> birdhouses! Okay, we're gonna do this farm patch and then we're gonna go birdhousing. Ah, which means I'm just gonna get my birdhouse stuff out. Doop, doop. Ah, seeds. I don't remember how many is, so I'll just grab a bunch. Ah. Um. Yeah, that'll do. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be lazy. Wee. What? What do you want? Treasure chest! Treasure chest! Bah! Bowl! Coins! Go! Yes! Pennies! Pennies for me! I've stopped paying for people to look after stuff. But now I'm sad because it's dead. Okay. I mean, I should go do my other farm, but I can't be bothered, so we're leaving. Fuck all. Great. Ooh, two bird nests. That makes up for it. What? Wait. Where's my other log? Why do I only have three logs? Am I stupid? Hi, Pazuzu. Ooh, three bird nests. Okay, but like, fuck, dude. <laughs> I need another log. Has anyone dropped any for me? Oi. Bruh. What the fuck is this song? Time to mine! It's never time to mine, but this is a banger. Oh, look at all that stuff. Right, I now need to go back. Ah. Uh. get my bird nest. Boop. 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 Is that all of them? Yeah. Maple seed, that's worth money. Ha ha!
Okay, so I don't think I can be bothered to go back. Because I'll need to get a new dick site pendant. Because it's, uh... uh it's, it's better to... Alchemy it when it's got one charge left before it disintegrates. Ah! Wrong thing. This. Yeah. Okay. Um... Right. Oh. What the fuck is happening? This music is too extreme. I'm trying to chill. It's chill vibes day. I decreed it. What am I doing? My fucking thoughts. Stop cancelling them. Um. Quest. I can't do the tree thing right now. So we're gonna do... What was the other one called? Ah, uh, that's the wrong notepad. That one. Garden of Tranquility. Yes, please. Okay. One ring of charos. Ooh, I have that. Where is it? There. One rake. One seed dimmer. One spade. Spade. One secretaries. Can I have my magic ones? Is that allowed? Bonk! Ha ha ha! A watering can? Bonk! Why is it still angry at me? Is it because it doesn't have any water in it? Gardening trowel. Plant cure. Where the fuck do I get plant cure from? Marigold seed. Ma. Ma. Marigold seed. Um. Three cabbage seeds. Six to be safe. Okay. Cabbage. A fishing rod. A hammer. One essence. A pestle and mortar. Where is there? One filled plant pot. I have a plant pot. It's not filled though. How do I fill it? Fill it with what? Examine. Yeah, but tell me how to fill it. What do I put in it? Filled plant pot. How do I fill it? Fill a plant pot with a gardening trowel. Wait, what? Oh, you use it on the farming patch. Okay, okay, I can do that. Uh, two compost. I have compost somewhere. But the guy. Oh, I didn't even see the onion seeds. On, onion, onion, onion. One, two, three, four, five, six onion seeds. A bunch of teleports. Nah. Okay. This. Uh. Bro, I ain't yet. Not really. Surprisingly, I'm doing okay. I don't know if I'm even doing the voice properly, but it's definitely not my normal voice, so it's something. Um, this. Let's just get a bunch of teleport runes. Okay. Where do I start? Varrock, that's where I am. Oh, but first I need to go. Whoop. Hello, Leprechaun. I require things. I'm still holding the wrong stick. What a load of piss. Oh, well, maybe I'll need both. I don't know. Hello, I need some tools. Hello, Jute. Ah, uh, I need. Ah. Uh, a dibber. I need a rake. I need a trowel. I need compost. Ah. Uh, where do I get plant cure from? Shit.
Should I GE that? Wait. Plant cure! Okay, you can buy it from a bunch of people. Is there anyone in Varrock I can buy it from? Uh, yes! Tresnor! Where's Tresnor? Okay. Alright. I also need to find a water source to, um... Fill my watering can. God, I've got so much stuff on me. <laughs> That's what I get for being prepared. Nom, 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 nom. Ooh, there's a fountain nearby, isn't there? Oh, wait. Here? Can I fill up here? In this fucking... Ugh. Okay. There. Beautiful. Right. Oh shit, hang on. I can't buy anything from Tresnor if I don't have any money. Money! Ah. Uh, 50 coins. This sounds Christmassy. What is it? Ah, Santa. Are you fucking kidding me? I could have got my stuff from here. Well, whatever. I've done it now. Uh, can you sell me something? I want plant cure. Yes. Give me another one. Can you sell me? Plant cure. Thanks. Okay. Now I need to fill the plant pot. Bill. I need to weed this patch first. Fine, I'll do it in a minute. How do I get over there? I have to go all the way around? Oh no, because he can't figure out doors. Well, whatever. I always think that this pile of rocks is a dead animal. Wait, that's not even a pile of rocks. What is it? But it's not a dead animal. What do I even need this thing for? What is it? I don't know what that is. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, bong. Bing, bong. Bing, bong, bing. Hello! It's the Queen! Good day! What's going on here? I see a lot of farming patches with nothing growing in them. That is not how you go up to the Queen like, Oi Queen! Seems like you suck at gardening, there's weeds everywhere! <laughs> no! One has just had them installed. One has had the most marvellous idea to bring renewed happiness to one's own dearest husband. One? I'm not sure I understand you. Oh dear, the common classes. How they fill one with intolerable levels of exasperation. I swear to be most true. Right. If you say so, my lady, I'll be off then if you don't mind. Yes, be off with you before I call the guards. No problem, sorry to have bothered you. Peasant, wait! Are you speaking to me? Who else would I be speaking to, you funny little man? Of course you! I am a funny little man. Well, for a moment there, I thought there was a dog around here somewhere. Oh yes, sarcasm, how amusing! No, no, peasant, I have a question to ask you. And if you're required- Oh, and you are required to answer! 
Well, seeing as you put it so nicely. Do you know of anyone who might have some degree of horticultural experience? Oh, marvelous peasant, I hereby order you to- Wait, I didn't say anything. I hereby order you to assist me with a little project I have planned. You have to ask me nicely first. Oh, what have I- Oh, what I have to deal with these days. To think this is what being a queen has become. Very well then, would you, good sir, help me with a little project of mine? Yes. I would be happy to help someone who is so in touch with the people. Ah, oh, more sac sarcasm! Sarcasm, wonderful. Well, it's nice to have a master of the fine art of gardening to assist me. In the absence of any such person, I gladly accept your service. Oh. I'm not sure if that's a compliment or not. Anyway, what would you like me to do? And what do I get out of it? To answer your first question, you have noticed the new farming patches that we've had installed around us. We wish to grow many varied and exotic plants in them to bring happiness back to my husband. King of Rold? The very same! And that's his most royal majesty to you! Now we've come to the plants. Wait, now we come to the plants that one wishes you to grow in these patches. I would tell you all at once, but I fear that your small mind would not cope. Thanks, I'm sure. So tell me, Queenie, how do I know which plants I'm to get for you? I've given you a list of the items I need in each patch. One is sure that you will know how to use the list with each patch to find out what needs to go in each one. There is one more thing, though. One listens with bated breath. <laughs> Obtaining the seeds may prove difficult if you go about by hacking and slashing everything that moves. No, gather these items you need to employ a finer tactic. The art of persuasion. You must go at once and converse with a wise old man who is said to dwell in Dwaynor village. He may guide you in mastering this delicate and sophisticated ability. Okay. Wait, no, sorry. Uh, I do just need a drink though, hold on. Ah, heads of lettuce. Okay, what am I doing? Talk to the wise old man. Oh my, blah, blah, blah. hold on. Throat needed clearing, here we go. How am I getting to drain or... Like a TP to Lummy. Lummy! Lum. Ooh, run energy, let's go! Bits of lettuce! Tomato! I'm trying not to lose it. <laughs> Who's the wise old man anyway? Is that just what he's called? Wise old man? Does he not have a name? He really is just called- <laughs> He's just called wise old man. Okay. Hello. Greetings, Vomit. Queen has sent me to seek your guidance. El Ella Maria, well, if you're here in her service, my guidance is this. Do the fastest run that you can off the shortest pier you can find. You know Queen Lem Lem Lem? Oh yes, we go way back, long before she married that fool of the King Varrock. Wait, the fool? King of Varrock. She wasn't always royal, you know. Really? No, in her youth she was a barmaid at the Blue Moon Inn. All that fancy talk, it's just for show. No, the other label in them I knew was a common was common as muck until she locked onto Good King Rold. Certainly look at I'll certainly look at her in a different light when I return to Varrock. 
So what sort of guidance does little miss hoity-toity send you seek? I'm supposed to gain some knowledge of diplomacy and persuasion from you. That is an area that, luckily for you, young vomit, I have studied. Have you heard of the diplomat known as Charos? Charos? I must say the name rings a bell. Charos. Yes, I remember. Once during my travels to Mauritania, I came upon an item of magical jewellery called the Ring of Charos. You found the Ring of Charos? Tell me, do you still have it in your possession? Yes, it's in my bag. Is it important? Charos rose to power under the rule of Lord Draken of Mortania, his only living servant. The Vampire Lord suffered the existence of Charos because of the talents that his sophisticated diplomat had to offer. The art of persuasion? Indeed! Charos had many uses, spy, assassin, negotiator, because he could convince anyone to do his wishes. These talents were in some sort part of Charos's own, but greatly enhanced by the ring that he fashioned. The Ring of Charos! Exactly! One who wears the ring must possess some innate ability of their own, which the ring enhances so that the wearer can convince all but the most strong-minded to do their bidding. I'm starting to fucking go. Uh, what happened to Charos and why did Frankenstrain have the ring? Charos had a castle built on the northern coast of Mauritania where he dwelt for many years in service to Draken. None really know what became of him, but some say he became too certain of his abilities and turned them on his master. This would have been his ultimate downfall, for the ring's power would have had little to no effect upon Draken. Frankenstrain probably found the ring many years later, buried somewhere within the depths of Charos's castle. So what you're telling me is that nobody really knows what happened to Charos? That he could still be alive? And if he is still alive, he would naturally come looking for the ring that is his by right. But I don't believe that you should worry about that. It's been many years since his disappearance and the likelihood is that he's dead. Still, it doesn't inspire me with much confidence. I could activate the power within this ring for you, but for me to do that, I must know that you will use it wisely. To do that, I must ask you a few questions to see how good a diplomat you can be. I have a question. Why are you doing a Mickey Mouse voice? Um, I'm trying to do the strawberry magic voice, but um, it's quite hard. Heads of lettuce, tomato, you know. Also, I guess I should say that it's because of the Wheel of Pain. That's why. My throat is starting to uh, hate me. It doesn't hurt, it just keeps going all gunky and disgusting. Okay. Two goblins are fighting over the colour of their armour. What do you do? Uh, kill them both and steal their bronze spears. Show them a range of colours so they can come to a compromise. Leave them to it. Armour's not going to help. Any noob could take them. <laughs> no, it's B. A drunken dr dwarf offers you a kebab. What do you do? Stand there until he gets annoyed and attacks you. Take his generous gift, even though you have no need for it. Run away, leaving the lonely dwarf on his own. Oh, I will take the gift. Thank you. Are you enjoying your experience of farming? Definitely. It's absolutely, unquestionably the most interesting thing I've ever done. Yes. <laughs> um, sure, is B always the answer? The dwarf asks you to put on a silly golden helmet so that you can be fired from a cannon into a wall. What do you do? Put the helmet on the dwarf and fire him into the wall. Just refuse this crazy request blankly. Put on the silly helmet and jump into the cannon. I'll fire him into the wall. You meet PK Master 0036 in the wilderness who asks you who is the greatest player killer in the world. How do you answer? <laughs> I am prepared to meet your maker, PK Master. Of course, you of course, PK Master. No one could ever challenge your greatness. Cowan fearing quickly cast teleport to Verrock. <laughs> you are PK Slayer. Queen Illuminem asks you to go on a foolish quest without any offer of reward. What do you say? Ask me nicely and I might consider it. I'll do what you ask. I just love the monarchy. <laughs> Stop ordering me about and get behind the bar where you belong. <laughs> I just love the monarchy. A drain old bank guard asks if you've seen any suspicious characters lately because the bank has been robbed. What do you say? 
Yes, that wise old man over there looks incredibly dodgy. If I do, I'll let you know. No, especially not that wise old man who doesn't look at all suspicious. Okay, I've answered your questions. What's the verdict? Hmm, it was close, but... Congratulations, you've clearly got what it takes to use the Ring of Cheros. Wait a moment, Vomit. The wise old man passes his hand slowly over the Ring of Cheros that lies in your outstretched palm. Gradually, you feel the ring begin to vibrate with gentle energy. Well, I know where I want to put that. Ooh, woo! The Ring of Charos has now been opened to you, Vomit. You may use its power to charm the weak-minded, but it will only work whilst you are wearing it. Thanks for your help, wise old man. Funny, I thought you would take the chance to test the power of the ring on me. No matter. Leave me now. I have important surveillance duties to carry out. Okay. Let's put it on. Yay. Ooh. What am I doing? Talk to Elstan. Okay. I can't leave. The door's closed. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's the list, I see. I don't have a lot of space in my pockets. I hope I don't need space in my pockets. Are my plants dead again, for fuck's sake? Oh wait, no, I didn't actually plant anything there. I forgot. Hi, Elstan. Do you have any delphinium seeds to spare? I do have delphinium seeds, yes, but to spare, I'm not so sure. You don't look like that much of a gardener to me. That's why I've come to an expert for advice. Ah, now I like the sound of that. So people are saying I'm an expert then. Not just an expert. Elstan, they say you are THE expert. I can't say that I'm surprised, really. I do seem to have the golden touch with the old gardening lark. Only just the other day I managed to grow a... I'm not boring you, am I? Oh no, I love listening to gardening stories. You do? That's the first person I've ever met who's said that. Well, don't you worry, mate, I've got a million of them. Millions? Ah, just what I wanted to hear. Ah, oh, but there's plenty of time for stories. Oh god. You wanted delphinium seeds, did you say? Uh, uh, what? Uh, yes, delphinium seeds. As I am especially good at mood, I think I'll let you have some. But you have to do something for me first. And what's that? I need some marigolds to give, uh, to give to Lyra, one of my fellow gardeners over in Mortania. She's a bit mysterious and has some, well, sinister ways, to be sure. But she's just my type. So a bunch of marigolds, then. Yes, and while I'm at it, I can see how good a gardener you are. Grow those marigolds in this flower patch here, from seed to flower. Pick them and give them to me, and I'll give you some delphinium seeds. Okay. Sure thing. Oh god, this takes a while. So I don't actually need all of this stuff on me right now, then. I can just give it back to the leprechaun. Oh, while I'm waiting, I can do this. Oh, oh. Do I want... Do I want to water this? I probably do, right? I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it. There. Okay. Talk to Lyra. Aren't onions. Okay. Maybe I should also deal with this shit. Okay, where am I going? Mortania. Oh, shit. Well, I can fairy ring. But I need to get to a fairy ring first. Um... I could run up to Edgeville. 
Yeah, let's do that. Um, hey! Turns out I don't need all of this stuff on me, so you can have it. There we go! I need to remember to get... What is it? The staff? I need to get the fairy ring staff on my way. What's the best way to do this? I think I go north from here, and that will get me to the bank, and then I go east. East. Oh, unicorns! Yay! Heads of lettuce, tomato. Who's that making me wet? Okay, I'm still going. I've got 22 minutes left, oh fuck. And then I need to ooh-woo voice. Oh god. What am I doing? Getting my... this. Okay. Onwards. This man's getting killed by a skeleton. You okay? I don't know what's going on. And figure. Bum, 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 Wait, no, I don't want to go to Kempfis. I want to go to... ALQ. ALQ. No, don't hurt me. I just want to farm, apparently. Hello, Lyra. What's the fucking... Stop sidestepping around. Just talk to her. Do you have any orchid seeds to spare? Please do not bother me. I have problems to attend to. If you tell me your problems, I may be able to help you. As you ask so nicely, I will relate my problems to you. But I very much doubt that you can help me at all. Try me. You must think it strange that a girl such as myself would choose to ply her trade in a place such as this, the darkest of lands. Yes, I was wondering about that. My mother, Alice, tends to our farming shop in yonder farmhouse while I tend to this small allotment. Passing trade has quite literally died off in recent years and without it our income. Oh, and with it our income. Times must be very hard for you. It is, but the smallest of our worries. We get by, we survive on the miserable harvest that I grow here. The price of our survival is what pains me, as it is the price I have paid with the souls of others. Whatever you've done, I'm sure you had a just cause. You say this, but you know nothing of my crimes. I cannot tell you all, but this much I will say. That being allowed to exist in this land is a privilege that I'm that must be paid for, and the cost is dear. And what is the nature of this fee that you pay? Mother and I must pay a tithe of blood to the vampires. Father would have protected us, but he is no longer with us. Although his presence still walks among us in the fields, we pay with the blood of others. If not yours, then whose blood are you offering? Sometimes I travel to market fairs in distant lands and use my feminine arts to your, your, lure young farmers back to this land, and then the vampires come for them and I see them no more. How could you deal with so much guilt? Please, ask me no more. You said you were looking for some orchid seeds. I do have some, as a matter of fact, but you may as well have them because they do not grow well in this grim land. Okay, can I have them? You must pass a test first. There, there are no, these are no ordinary flowers, and no ordinary farmer can grow them. You must grow onions here in one of these patches, and when they are fully grown, I will give you the seeds. I'll grow some onions. Speak to me when they're fully grown. You need not pick them for me. I'll be able to ex assess your skills by simply watching you. Okay. 
Rake. Dibba. Ah. Uh, compost. Watering can. Oh wait, shit, I don't need an empty one. Wait, put it back. There we go. Wait, no, fuck, I pissed it up. Fuck. D fucking. Yeah. Give me that. Someone else can have that war again. <laughs> I've got plenty. Mmm, raking. Yes. What do I need a spade for? I don't need a spade for this, surely. Onion. Seed. Pop. Compost. Water. Rake. Oh, zombie cow. <laughs> Onions. Compost. Water. Bleh. Right. Hello. Buckets, watering can, break, dibber. Um. Also, can you note these for me? Thank you. Right. I need to go to Ardingle. How do I get to Ardingle? Um. Ardingle. Oh, I don't even need to equip a staff for this. Let's go! You haven't learned how to cast this spell yet. Yes, I have. What? 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 Why can't I TP to Ardingle? How do I learn to TP to... Hang on. Ah, ah. Doggle. Teleport. Can only be cast after reading the Ardingle teleport scroll. Oh! Fuck. I have that in my bank. Shit. Um. Okay. I could TP to Falador. If I go to Falador, then I can go to the bank and I can read the scroll and then I can lose my mind. Okay. Here it is. Ah. Uh, read. There we go. Now, our Dingles be. Wee! Okay. Um. Mm. That's a lot of bread on the floor. Who am I talking to? Where am I going? Ah. Oh, my character's just gotten confused. Okay. Sorry, I didn't realize you couldn't path. Oh, up there. All right. I could have fairy ringed. Oh well. Hello. Kragen. Do you have any snowdrop seeds to spare? No, I don't, as it happens. Sorry. You seem a little bit irritable, my friend. Oh, you think so? And what concern is it of yours? I don't like to see a fellow human being so upset. I must say, you don't often meet people who show concern the way you have done. So what ails you, my friend? All these people asking me to look after their crops, and no one ever asking me how I feel, or if there's something they can do for me. Well, is there anything I can do for you? Oh, that's very kind of you, 
And there I was, thinking of giving it all up and heading off across the seas to find my fortune. So what can I do for you? I'd like for just once for somebody to grow something for me. Just something simple. Some vegetables would be nice. How about some potatoes? Nah, no, there's a whole field of them over to the west. I don't have any particular use for onions. So how about cabbages then? Cabbages? Sounds good to me. Where do you want me to grow them? In one of these allotments here. Plant them from seed and when they're ready for harvesting let me know. I'll give you your seeds. That's a deal. I'll let you... Ark, I hate cabbages. Give me the seeds. <laughs> hey, I'll let you know when your cabbages are ready. <laughs> Arg, I hate cabbages. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I didn't know a farming quest would be so unhinged. This man's not wearing a shirt. His tits are out. Boop. Mm -hmm. Boop. Ah, uh, water. And now we do this one, just in case. Boop -a -doo, boop -a -doo, boop -a -doo. Seeds. Water. Compost. Note the weeds for me, please. There's no reason not to sell them, especially when you're a poor boy like me. Right. Catherby. Can I get to Catherbingus? Um. I can go to Camelot. I guess. Yeah, I think that's probably faster. Camelot. It is a silly place. No, I don't. I don't like this one. I don't like the storm music. It's fucking no. Give me um, give me my my new favorite. Yes, mud skipper melody. No, I don't want to pay you. Talk to me! Do you know how I could grow a white tree? There are no more white trees left in the world. They've all been chopped down and their beauty has forever left this world. I think that there's something you're not telling me. Am I so transparent? You've seen through me. There is something I'd rather not tell you. A secret is a dreadful burden to keep to yourself. It's hard not to keep this secret. Oh, it's not hard to keep this secret. To give it away would cause me great sorrow. I don't see how. Tell me your secret and I will keep it as well as you've done. Very well. I feel a deep trust in you for some reason. It is the white tree, the last survivor of a race of trees that have disappeared from our landscape. Once they covered the land, now there is only one. What happened to them? Man desired the wood of the white tree because of its pure white. Need I tell you more? I can fill in the rest, so where's the remaining white tree? She stands atop Ice Mountain, alone and sorrowful, and I fear that she is dying. If I took a cutting from her, then I could grow another one. Yes, but she only has life enough to produce one shoot. Cut this shoot, and she will die, the last of her kind gone forever, and if you fail to grow the shoot, there would be no more white trees. 
Unless you allow me to do this, she will die anyway. I know, but I try not to think about that. You speak it truly. She does not have much time left. Then will you allow me to take the cutting? Do so with my blessing. I wish you good fortune. Now go! Save the beauty of the white tree! Okay. Um... Hang on. Wait, I don't have a fucking rake. I need to fill my plant pot. I might be able to do it later, but I can't trust that. Seven minutes left! Oh god! Right. Wonderful. Okay. You can have the rig back. Oh, there it is. Oh, and the trowel. I don't need that anymore. I think. Oh, just in case. <laughs> I don't like having to come back for things. <gasps> lobsters! God, I fucking love lobsters. They're so cute. Right, where's the tree? Hello? Oh, is it that? No. Where is it? Wait, this is the wrong mountain! This is the wrong mountain! Hang on. What's the best way for me to get there? I think just my legs. Legs. Can I even go this way? Yes. Oh god. Ooh. Okay. So it's a strange path to be taking, but it's fine. Okay. Okay, we've run through Tappily. Let me go up there. I think we go that way. That way looks good. Please don't attack me, doggos. Kingworm! I like Kingworm. The king of all worms! Selling magic beans? Ooh. What's that? Tree patch. Well, I don't really have an easy way to get here, so maybe that's not worth noting. Okay. And now... Can I go that way? I don't know. Can I? No. Fuck, I have to go all the way around. <laughs> My voice is starting to give in. This way, and then around. Can I even get up the side of the mountain that way? I don't fucking know. Ah! Oh, go this way, bitch. Mmm, bitch. Has my lizard mat turned off? I'm getting colder. I need to be nice and warm today because it's all cold and horrible outside. Hi, Vanta! Please excuse my voice, there's three minutes left of it. 
And then we're going to move on to a different one. <laughs> oh? Yeah. Sorry. It's a bit fucked up. Where am I going? How do I get to the tree? Where even is it? Tree! Ow! Tree! Stop hitting me! Ah! Where the fuck is the- where? Huh? Oh, there! Thought your throat was messed up or something and was getting concerned? No! No, I'm doing this on purpose! Here we fucking go! Wield. No, wait, don't wield them. Oh, it doesn't matter. No, I don't want to attack the Ice Fiend! No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Wait. Use on the tree. Glad it's just you doing a voice, yeah. Here's the shoot that D Dan Terra spoke of. Everything she told me is true. This tree will die once I cut this shoot. Well, here goes. Rip in piss. All right. Uh, oh wait, I don't need to go back. This goes in here, and then we water it. Yes! Okay. Edgeville, that's over there. The camera's going a bit funny while I run around on this mountain. Oh sweet, it's right here. Hello! Who am I speaking to? Oh, oh, this guy. Just gonna hide in the club penguin among us, gif in random places. No! <laughs> the fucking gif. These are the most beautiful rose bushes I've ever seen. Nice of you to say so, but I sense the use of some unnatural power underneath your fine words. You're concealing something of great evil. An evil cannot touch someone of my purity. Oh, no, that's not true. Nonsense, you reek of this evil power. I suggest that you throw whatever dark talisman it is that you're using down the Edgeville well. Oh, I don't have to speak like that anymore. <laughs> don't know how I found a gift that tiny. I also don't know how you manage that. Okay, I suggest you throw whatever the dark talisman it is uh, you're using down the Edgeville well and never think of it again. Either that or just simply destroy it. I don't wanna, why don't I get to keep it? Ugh. Cringe. Right, where's the well? Over there. If I must. You manage a lot of things? Good. Okay, I need to do my other voice. Maybe- should I let my throat rest first? Maybe I should let my throat rest first. Thankfully, the next one's only half an hour and not an hour and a half. No, I don't wear it. Fuck. Hang on. Bottom, bottom. Use on the well. Hit. Alright. Take some seeds from the white roses. Oh, I'm just allowed to do that. I don't have to talk to the guy again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Take. Are you messing about with my rose bushes again? Uh, I was just admiring them. I sense you speak without the use of the evil power you carry before. That is good. As you've taken the road back towards the light, you may take any seeds that you wish. Oh, sweet kittens. Throw it down the edge of a well like you told me. 
That's good, although it could always be regained by someone using an implement long enough to reach the bottom of the well. Something with a hook on the end to catch the ring with. I hope I haven't put any ideas in your head. Oh no, I definitely wouldn't try something like that. I see. <laughs> Nothing has surpassed what I consider the greatest thing I managed to do yet. Oh? Oh, I see. That's what the fishing rod is for. <laughs> Nothing? What? Hey! Okay. Talk to Bernald in Berthorp. Bernald lives in Berthorp. Uh, okay, I can just run there. That's fine. Okay. Is there anything I should put away? Eh. It's fine, let's just go. I can't go up that. Ugh. Not sure if anything could surpass it. Yeah, but what is it? Meeting me? <gasps> Aww. You're such a sweetie. Who's that guy? Fucking oh yeah, everyone's like a a druid or something here, aren't they? Druids. I figured it would have been obvious since I'm trying to claim your thing. Yeah, but I'm big stupid. Big os, stupid os. Just adds to your charm. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm glad. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> Catch ninja and bling. I can't do that, unfortunately. Uh, my hunter is not good enough. Wait, shit. Fucking piss. This isn't a... a gardening patch, so I need to... go to a leprechaun at a different place. I should have brought some stuff to give me more run energy. 
Speaking of gifts, I don't know how I got the dinosaur one. What do you mean? The one on Twitch is just a default Twitch emote, right? And then I guess someone uploaded that to Discord, maybe? What was that patch? Don't know. In your files? I guess you downloaded it at some point. Because you like it so much. It's too early to be yawning. Blah, 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 blah. Wait. Okay, there were two doors. <laughs> there was a closed one and an open one in the same door frame. Never too early to moan, I mean yawn. <sighs> Might always be moaning. Ugh. The fucking ninja implink's still here. What skill do I have to be to get that? Oh my god, 74? Good lord. Do you know anything about grapevine diseases? I might, what's the problem? See those grapevines over there? Yeah, they don't look too happy at the moment. They've come down with some strange disease that I've never encountered before. I've tried everything with them, but nothing seems to work. If it carries on like this, I'll lose this year's crops. I'll probably help you with that, but I'd need something in return. Anything, you just need to ask. I'd like a supply of Berthop vine seeds. I'm afraid I can't do that. But it's the only... The only way that these vines will be cured. Maybe right. If I lose these crops, what use of more seeds to me when I've gone out of my business? Very well then, this is the deal. You cure my vines and I'll give you some Burthop vine seeds. Boop. Please speak to me again when you've cured the vines. Okay. Use plant cure on plant. Drip, drip, drip. But I needed two. I need... Okay. I need to unequip my thing. Boop. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> mm. Oh, I need an enhanced plant cure, because the first one didn't work, I guess. Okay. I get it. to ask you about strong plant cures. Well, you've come to the right person then. I researched exotic plant diseases as part of my druidic training. What's the affliction that you need to cure? Bernard up in Berthorpe's got some seriously diseased grapevines. I tried plant cure on them, but it didn't seem to have any positive effect. So it's the famous Berthorpe vine. The very one. I'm afraid that my researches did not extend to Berthorpe vine. Bernard and his ancestors have always closely guarded the heritage of that vine. In fact, I'm surprised that he's evolved you. I had some assistance. 
I see. Well, if it involves some unnatural power, I'd rather not know. I prefer the use of power that can be brought forth from the plants around us. Are you sure there's nothing you can suggest? Well, there's one thing you could try. One of the most potent cures I've discovered involves using the natural power held within a very special mineral with its very closely guarded secret. You mean the runescence? You know of that? Then I can do no further harm here. You can make a potent plant cure by mixing some crumbled runescence into a normal plant cure. This may possibly cure Bernald's vines. Thanks. Okay. Doop ba doop. Doop ba doop. Doop boop. Beautiful. Bernald! I can kill your grapes. This quest is quite a fucking faff. Good lord. Oh, I can turn this stupid timer off for now. I think I'll do uwu after I've done this quest. Uh, I think... I will have had enough time to relax. Use plant cure on the grapes. Drippity droppity. I fixed him. My vines are cured. You've worked wonder here. You can have the seeds like I promised. Hope they grow for you. Thanks! Okay. Harvest the marigolds from Falador. Okay. Deep, 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 Falador. Boom. Uh, let me bank some of this excess crap, actually. Okay, I don't need these, I don't need this, I don't need weeds, uh, I don't need the fishing rod anymore, don't think I need the hammer anymore. Don't need that. Okay. Right. Ooh, I hope they didn't die. Two out of seven on my fucking willow tree. Should have got some energy potions. Oh well. <gasps> they grew! Yes! Sweet kittens. Don't have any scenes planted in that patch, but, but, but that's not what I meant. <laughs> I have the marigolds. Fantastic. Lyra will surely be mine now. Here you go, mate. Here's those delphinium seeds you were after. Thanks. Right. 
Uh, then we go up to the fairy ring so we can TP to Mortania. That's not good enough. I don't have many um, graceful bits and parts. I've only got two. Did they grow? Those ones didn't. These ones did. Ah. Inspect. Okay, they're not dying yet. Those ones are dying, but I don't really care. How long until these are done? Uh. 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 This. Okay, nearly. Three more minutes and they'll be done. It's time for a stretch! Okay. My Aunt Dinglesby ones aren't done yet either. But they'll also be done in about three minutes. Maybe I should use this time for a piss break. Yeah, I'll be right back. See you in two minutes.
Bruh, my heckin' onions are diseased. Can I buy plant cure, uh, cure from you? Wait, no, I don't have any money. Um, where can I get money? Uh, if I fairy ring to canvas. Ow! Configure. Wait, just go Zanaris. Go to Zanaris. Okay, uh, there's a bank here, right? Yeah, up there. Okay, you can just do this. Ugh. Perhaps I should check the cabbages I planted for Kragen. No! I need... What is it, like 25? 25 coins. I got myself some fucking dried mango to chew on. Which might not be the best idea while I'm streaming, but I wanted that yummy nummy fructose. Mmm. Fructose. Ah. I need plant cure! Those onions! Mm -mm. Can you show me some plant cure? Yes. Okay. Fix the onions. Okay. All right. I might as well go do our dingles bee. And we'll come back for the onions. Uh. Which way is it? North. Ooh, sheet. Do I want any of them? Not really. Oh, look at those fucking cabbages. Beautiful. Up, mate. I got your cabbages. Look at them. Best cabbages you've ever seen. I've grown those cabbages. Yeah, I saw. What fine farming prowess. Nobody's ever done anything like that for me before. Here you go. These are the seeds you were after. Mm, 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 mm. Them? Okay. Farming XP. No, fuck, I keep misclicking. Eh. I'm getting a lot of cabbages. That's pretty good. Fifteen from that one patch. This one was only what, like six? Did I? 
I'm gonna drop it. There. Alright. Um. So now it's just Lyra. Okay. Oh, it's fairy ring. Wait, 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 Scary bear. Big scary bear. Someone's been leveling their mining. Where's the very ring? North of it. Oh, there it is. What is this place? Legends Guild. No, they're gonna attack me! Stop it! Don't touch me. Oh, they're looking good, man. Look at them onions. Oh. Beautiful. Right, I'll fuck these ones up, so let's get rid of them. But these ones... Oh. So I don't get XP for clearing dead plants, but I suppose... You know... You fucked them up, so... <laughs> you get experience for making mistakes, though. I don't know. Fucking whatever. Sixteen. Oh, damn it. And then... Compost, rake, seed dipper. Wait. Huh? You can get more from Lyra. Oh, thank fuck. Which means I'll need money. Presumably. I don't know how much that's gonna cost. Let's just go get some coins. Uh, configure. Take me to Zanaris. Oh god. Not the grand exchange music. is going to cost. Not too much, probably, but I'm always paranoid. Oh, you know what? Put these cabbages away. Be gone, cabbages, and this. Uh. Did I need anything else? I don't fucking know. Why do I have a basket of apples? What? Whatever, I got so much shit. Stop looking at that. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Don't touch me. Don't touch me. This isn't Grand Exchange music, it's rugby. It's Sea Shanty 2. What? Why did my brain just deactivate? Stop. Can you just leash, please? Leash. Oh my god. Fuck off. Stop chasing me! 
Dude. Stop. Right, now run back to where you belong. Good. What? Why are they diseased again? Oh my god. Sell me... Some fucking plant cure. Thank you. Oh my god. Stop getting diseased. And now I gotta wait another... What, like 10 minutes? Yeah, oh my god. Ah. <laughs> uh. Wait, what was that other one? Oh, that's for weeds, right? Mm. I could go jumping around on rooftops, I guess. In ten minutes. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go to Sonaris, because... Otherwise, we get smacked. <sighs> Can fee. This might not work very well because um, I've got a lot of shit in my pockets. I might have to slowly jump on rooftops. Maybe I should have. Fuck, should I, did I need to rewater the onions? To make them do better? Oh well, I'm over here now. I'm just waiting to see, I guess. Don't look at my lap count. <laughs> Don't look at that. Ooh, Mark. I think that puts me up to 30, which means I can buy something, but I might wait until I have 40 to get something better. Man, this Agi course is so good that I'm not actually running out of run energy. 
despite being full of star. My, uh, I'm only at one kilogram. Well, oh, I guess most of this stuff doesn't weigh anything. Okay. I'm gonna gnaw on some more mango jerky. <laughs> One more minute. Hopefully. Unless they get diseased again. It is cold, I do not vibe with this weather, same. I mean, I'd rather be cold than hot. But it's all wet and miserable outside. 27F, that means nothing. Convert that to a real measurement for me, please. At least I've got my lizard mat to keep me warm. I'm in a little bundle right now. And I'm just chilling. Fuck you. <laughs> Freedom numbers, it's minus two. Wait, minus two Celsius, really? Fucking hell. I don't actually know what the temperature is here. Let me have a look. Uh, um, 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 sorry, I'm also eating mango jerky. Uh, what's the weather? Um, it's apparently five degrees here, but it's saying it feels like minus one. Whatever that means. Yeah, mango jerky. What about it? Nom, 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 nom. Um, nom, nom. Are you mango? Mangoes are fucking delicious. But I'm very picky with mangoes. It has to be a specific variety, otherwise they're gross. Unless it's mango jerky. Mango jerky's fine. I like mango more than pineapple. I don't really like pineapple. Pineapple flavour is fine. I don't like how stringy pineapples are. Which is also why I have to be very particular with my mango variety, because stringy mangoes are gross. But when it's nice and smooth and it just tastes like candy... Oh, I love that shit. Um. Ooh, my plants are done. <laughs> pineapple in fruit salads is the fucking worst because then every taste like pineapple. That's true. Pineapple does like infect everything. <laughs> <laughs> Give me this. Give me this. Grab it. What do I get? Nothing? Oh, I got a cake. Right. <laughs> uh, this one. Mm -hmm. 
Hello. I've done it. Here, onions. Yes, you've demonstrated that you have some moderate skills as a farmer. Take these seeds and do with them what you will. Thank you. Can I please have some more? Uh, can you sell me? Uh... No. How do I get more? Oh no, I have them. Oh no, 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 she gave me all of them. Okay, she gave me all the colours. I love honeydew, but the slightest hit of pineapple is the fr <laughs> in the fruit salad. The honeydew will suck it up. That is true. What is this one? Oh no, this is the one that gets fucking copyright activated on YouTube. It doesn't, like, make me take the video down, but it's just funny that it happens. Okay. So I need a rake, a seed dibber, and two composts. Rake, seed dibber, one, two, compost. I don't have any space in my pockets. Shit. Uh, equip that. And that. There we go. Two composts. Okay. Now I need to help with Varrock. Whoop. Whoop. Honeydew has a mild but enjoyable flavour, but for me it's the texture of honeydew that's the best part. I don't remember when the last time I had a honeydew was. I feel like it was kind of recent, but I'm just dumb. And forgetful. God, I fucking love fruit. It's so good. Tasty fruit. It's got a crisp crunch to it and it's so good. We do like a crisp crunch. Like a good crisp apple. Right, compost. Bonk. Compost. Bonk. Uh, this goes in there. Boop. This goes in there. Uh, rake the vine patch. Oh, I see, because they've got, like, climbers. That's cute. The White Tree of Gondor. Oh, this is... this is Bob. Romper Chomper. Nice. Love melons. Watermelon, cantaloupe, and honeydew. And tits. I suppose you could call that a kind of melon. I like, um, artificial watermelon flavour. I've never found a watermelon that doesn't just taste like lettuce. But artificial watermelon, 
Mm. When it's nice and sour. Mm. What are these? Oh, they're the onions. I could have <laughs> I could have noted these onions. Whoops. You live in the UK, so of course watermelon doesn't taste good. That's true. Although I had some abroad once, but maybe that wasn't the best example either. Anyway, hello. How am I supposed to move statues all the way here? Use the dormant object that lies between your ears. That's how. <laughs> I love the conversations with the queen. They're so sassy. <laughs> On both sides. The statue may be far too heavy to carry, but simplicity itself to push. Push. Yes, peasant, push. Here, take this trolley. You can use it to push statues here. Lord. Use a trolley on the king statue outside Lumbridge Castle. Wait, I have to go all the way from Lumbridge? Oh my god. Okay. Hang on, let me use the bank. Okay, deposit all these onions, deposit all these weeds, deposit this empty plant pot, and this, and this, and... Shit, I should have given them to a leprechaun, that's fine. Deposit all these coins, I don't need them. Okay. Am I just stealing one of these statues? Well, the queen wants me to, so... Use the trolley on the statue. Good god. I love yellow, crimson, watermelon. You won't find them in any store, but they're so fucking good. Yellow fruit? Like, a yellow, uh... variant of a fruit? is normally pretty good. Like, I've had yellow raspberries before, that shit is incredible. Are you fucking kidding me? I have to push it one square at a time? Oh my god, I'm so glad there's a route for this. My brain cannot be bothered to figure out anything like this. Oh, this is so dumb. Okay, I can do it like this, because the camera moves. Oh! Oh, thank fuck! Oh, it doesn't actually make me do it. Oh my god, I'm living the dream. Thank you, game. Oops. No, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Oh, well, it's fine. No, it isn't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How do I unbeans myself? Big push trolley. Place trolley. Uh-oh. Pull trolley. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Can you fucking imagine? Yellow watermelons have been around since before the red ones. Ooh. 
the OG Melon. Oh, am I gonna have to go back and get the Queen one? Oh, fuck off. Uh, no, I'm gonna push it again. Come here. Big push. Hiya. Place. There we go. Give me that. Use the trolley on the statue in Falador. Okay. Falador. Can't find yellow watermelons in stores, mainly because the red ones look better, and if it doesn't look good, it can't be good. Yeah. Um. A friend of mine used to work in a supermarket, and he said that one time they accidentally ordered purple potatoes. Um, and nobody bought them, even though they're really fucking tasty, apparently. What the hell? Better not let those guards see me. Wait, I'm actually stealing this? Billy, a new recruit of the Felidor Guard has just arrived for his first- Ugh. What are you doing this weekend? This weekend? You haven't been here long, I take it. What do you mean? You know the life of expectant the life expectancy of a Falador guard. No. About 30 seconds, I reckon. 30 seconds? They didn't tell me that when I signed up. Any second now, someone's going to try and kill us, for no apparent reason, completely unprovoked. But why, Bob? What have we ever done to them? I don't know, Billy. But I'm not wasting my final seconds worrying about it. Bob? Steady, Billy. Remember, you're a guard of Falador. But... <laughs> okay. So can I have this or what? Halo watermelons have the color of piss? Oh dear. I pushed it the wrong way. I'm sure it's fine. Do -do -do, do -do -do. No! Ugh. No. This is so dumb. Give it a big push. We. It's so not worth it. <laughs> Post a few pics of yellow watermelon in the Discord. Oh, hell yeah. Funky fruit. Wow, the tree's already grown. Goddamn. That was quick. Wait, wait, wait. Uh. Place. Hello. I think that's everything. One finds that hard to believe. Out of my way, let me see for myself. One was right not to trust your word, common as it is. The garden is not yet complete. Really? Why haven't I finished yet? See that the Delphilium limbs haven't finished growing. Also, the snowdrops haven't finished growing. Thirdly, the white rosebush hasn't finished growing. Oh, look, the pink rosebush hasn't finished growing. To add to that, the red rosebush hasn't finished growing. And what a surprise, the white tree hasn't finished growing. One suggests you learn a little patience. These plants should not take long to grow. These patches have been filled with extremely fertile soil that was very expensive to import. Right. 
Sorry. How do I know when everything's done? Examine. Patch of snowdrops. That doesn't help. So these things look pretty fucking good to me. They're like grown as hell. Ugh, how do I know when they're done? Extremely fertile, just like Vom. <gasps> Ooh. Where are these piss melons? Oh, they really are pissy. Damn. How did they go from being piss yellow to red as fuck? I suppose carrots used to be a different colour. Carrots used to be like purple. Or something. We done yet? Oh, hush. And then once I've done this, I can finish the Varrock Medium Diary. And then once I've done the Varrock Medium Diary, I'm going to move on to... Where's my note? Uh... Biohazard, which then lets me do the Ardingle Dongle Easy Diary, and also lets me do the quest Underground Pass, which I need to be able to cast the good magic spell explosion thing. Huh. And at some point I might go back to Slayer, but we'll see if I have time for that, I guess. Oh, but I like to slay things. Done. Wait, do I have all my timers? No. Oh, I could go do my um thing of stinguses. Let's go do birdhouses, and then we'll see if they're done when I get back. Birdhouses. Okay, I need. No, the fucking pendant isn't working in the tags. Oh no, because I don't actually have one. Hold on, I can fix that. Really? <laughs> Stick. Enchant. This. Beautiful. Uh. For a moment I thought these yellow watermelons were an AI image. <laughs> uh, okay. Put this on. Uh. Fossil Island. Lucky, what the hell? Give me birdie nests. I want money. Hey, guess what? I forgot to bring something again. <laughs> I didn't bring the clockwork for the one that I hadn't done yet. Oh wait, did I already? No, wait, I already built it. Right? I think I built it and I just didn't put seeds in it. Or maybe I'm fine. I didn't get a single bird nest. I didn't get fucking anything. What the hell? I've been bean boozled.
Wait, it's not there. Okay, well, we're using another charge, but whatever. I need my hunter XP. was the other guy. Cringe. Uh Varok. These fucking plants better be done growing. How can I tell when they're done? Will it be obvious? I can probably put all of this fucking farming gear away, actually. Oh, that looks different. Right? Maybe. Hello, is it done? Oh my god, what's not done? The white tree's not finished growing. How long does it take? Why is the statue pointing to the tree? Look! The white tree of Gondor. Oopsie. <laughs> white tree. Is it only done when it's got loads of fruit on it? Heck. Oh, what? What is happening? Oh. Nothing to do with me. Okay.
I'm gonna have some coffee. Chicken bake! Hi, hello, thank you for the chicken bake and for making me nearly choke on my coffee because I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> We're currently waiting for a tree to grow because Queen Bitch Tits is like, oh, the garden's not done yet because the tree hasn't finished growing. I don't know how long it takes. But it shouldn't be too much longer. Riveting? I know. I could always start the next voice thing. You missed me doing an hour and a half of strawberry. And now we've got 30 minutes of uwu to do. I said I was going to do it when I finished this quest, but I might as well do it now because the quest is basically over. Ah, oh, my little face. Mm. Fuck it, let's get it going. Do -do 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 -do. Ooh -woo. It's time to ooh -woo. When's the tweet gonna be done? Maybe it is done. Oh! Oh yes, very nice. If a little yobbish. Rolly will be so pleased. Rolly? You will address my husband by his proper title. Speaking of whom, I think it's time we brought him out to see his new garden. And when one says we, one means you. Oh, you want me to go and get Ronald? <laughs> rolled? Sorry, King Rolled. And bring him here? Fair enough, wait then, and I'll be back in the mall. King. King Rolled. We have something special to show you. Greetings, your majesty, asking Roll to follow. Would you like to follow me for a minute? Follow you? I am the king. I am the followed, not the follower. Of course, your majesty, please forgive me. Forgiveness is something that cannot be earned so easily. I am certainly not following you off on some wild goose chase when I have important matters of state to attend to. The queen asked me to bring you. Ellie? Now that's a different matter. Lead on, peasant. Let's see what my darling wife has been up to now. What a knob? Yeah. This is murder under my- Oh, I couldn't read that. Ah, oh, Roly, my love. What have you been up to now, pumpkin? Behold your new garden. Have you been spending my money again? Here's some orchids from Mortania. Orchids bring out, bring me out in a rash. Oh. Vines from Berthorp. Oh great, let's hope they don't eat into the walls. Snowdrops from Ardingle. What a boring color. The last surviving white tree. Should make a nice table and chairs. Oh my god. Delphiniums from Falador. I hate Delphiniums. Rolly? Yes, pumpkin? Oh! <laughs> One has gone to great pains to provide you with a beautiful garden. You can show one little gratitude. What? Show one a little gratitude. Actually, I think I did most of a silence. Well, are you going to thank one, Rolly? God, her face looks horrific. Pumpkin, I speak up, I can't hear you. 
Thank you very much, my darling. Much better. Now get back in the castle and rule our kingdom. Yes, pumpkin. Wow. Excuse my husband, he can be so rude sometimes. Only sometimes? Are you being rude again? Yes, and that's all he deserves. Here you go, your help has proved invaluable. Yay! Away! Okay, what quest did I say I was gonna do next? I don't remember. I have it written down. Biohazard. Mm. Okay. And that quest was kind of a shit. Wait, what am I doing? I could have gone to the... Oh well. Oh well. Why is there a water well on the floor? Someone dropped a fish. Uh, teleport to our dangle. Law wounds, water wounds. Teleport to Valwok. I have my thingy. Teleport to Remington? Why do I need to go to Remy? I can do house teleport for that one. House teleport. Estic. Dirty coins? Or what though? Oh, my gas mask. Do I have it in here? Yes. Gas mask. What is that? Maze key. Okay. Bum bum bum. Bum 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 bum. Oh, dingo. Man, you guys really like the, the twin tails. I need to remember that. Maybe I should uh, do Art of Me with my different hairstyle. Where am I going? This way! Also, if I get a new model at some point, I need to make sure it has a twin tail toggle. Official bold vomit art. No! Bold isn't a hairstyle. You are not styling hair, you are removing it. Hello, Jericho. Hello, I've been expecting you. A way that tells me you need uh, to cross the wall. That's right. My messenger pigeons help me communicate with friends all over the wall. I've arranged for two of them to aid you with a rope ladder. Omar is waiting for you at the southern end of the wall. Be careful, the mourners catch you, the punishment will be severe. Thanks, Jericho. Ah, uh, get bird feed from the cupboard. Bird feed. Get a pigeon. Peach. Peach. Investigate the watchtower near the entrance to West Ardingle. Okay. Oh, I can cross the log. Cross the log? No, oh, go! <laughs> Oh, you suck. 
Anyway... Investigate. Open the pigeon cage next to the watch tower. Open pigeon cage. Wee pigeons. Talk to Omar to enter West Odingo. This way. Hello. Well done. The guards are having real trouble with those birds. You must go now, traveler. Oh. Mazami, hello, thank you for the follow. Uh, go now is your only chance. Okay. I recommend you wear a gas mask before entering West Artingle. Okay. Bonk. There we go. Okay. Rope leather. Lime. Hello, I hope you're doing well. I am doing well. I hope you are also doing well. Mm -hmm. Welcome to West Ardingle. I'm uh kill Ron. Let me know if you want to go back over the wall. Okay. Do you know where to find the Mona headquarters? Uh the most northeastern building in the city. Be careful around there. Okay. You're so cute. Oh, thank you. I hope I don't jump scare you in twenty minutes when my voice changes. I don't always speak like this. This is a uh, a wheel situation. How do I squeeze through that? What the fuck? What an apple! I don't know why I need this. Put it in the cold one. Place the what an apple in the pot. Quickly dissolves into the stew. Anyone who eats the stew is going to have a bad time. Ah. Okay. I'm scared. I'm bringing energy stuff again. You're still cute and hot regardless. Aw, thank you. <laughs> medical gown. Enter the mourner's headquarters while wearing the medical gown. Okay. Nice game. What well, RuneScape? It's chill vibes on this old day. I can curl up in a ball because I only have to use one hand to play this game. I can just be a little bundle. Bundle! A doctor? I didn't think there were any left around here. I heard there was some trouble with food poisoning here. You heard right. Head on in and see what you can do. Well, obviously, I'm just gonna come in and steal things. <laughs> Hello? Wait, 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 wait! Oh no, I do have to kill him. <laughs> wait, bonk him with a stick. Bonk. I didn't- I didn't think to bring, um, anything to kill stuff with, but it's okay. Right. Open the gate. Search the crate. Yay! Okay, see ya. Wait, return to... Elena. Oh, I can TP. Uh... Bop. Elena! Where is a winner? Hello? Up here? 
Boah. Which one's away now? Oh, across the log. Bam, 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 bam. Hello, Elena. What? <laughs> Talk to her. You're back. Did you find the distillator? Yes, here it is. Wait, now I can run the tests. Elena uses the distillator to test some samples. I don't understand. The touch paper hasn't changed color at all. What does that mean? I'm not sure. My old mentor and Vera Guidor. My no though, could you take these to him and see what he thinks? We need to drop by the chemist in Remington first to pick up some more touch paper. Okay. Now last time I went to see Guido, someone told the guards I was carrying some plague samples. Annoyingly, that means they've started searching everyone going into that part of the city. Ironically, the guards won't be smart enough to recognize the sample itself, so you should be able to get, uh, get that in just fine. Fully confiscate the rest though. What should I do? I know the chemist has been managing to get chemicals into Guido. Maybe he can help you smuggle some things in. Okay. Now I need to go Wimington, which means I do the house teleport. My brain is so huge. I'm so smart. Hello! Quest. So wait, I'm afraid we're closing now, you have to come back another time. But I was sent by Elena from Ardwingle. Oh, well that's different then. Must be pretty important for her to send you all this way. She asked me to pick up some touch paper for a guy called Guido. Guido, well this one's on me then. I owe him more than a few favors. I should warn you though, getting to him might not be easy if you're carrying any chemicals. The guards are searching anyone headed past, uh, heading to that part of Varwak. Alright, so I'm going to be okay carrying these vials with me? With touch paper as well? You're asking for trouble. You better use my errand boys outside. Give them a vial each. I must warn you though, they do have a habit of stealing things. Well, that's no good. How do I stop them from stealing my vials? Just make sure you give them something they have no reason to steal. One's a painter, one's a gambler, and one's a drunk. Not ideal, I know, but if you pay peanuts, you'll get monkeys, right? Okay. I don't stand around here gassing. This is clearly important to Elena. You need to find Guido's home in the southeast corner of Varrock. Okay, thanks for your help. I know I'm unappreciated. Okay. Hello? Got something for you to take to Varrock. Sounds like pretty thirsty work. There's an inn in Varrock if you're desperate. Don't worry, I'm a pretty resourceful fellow, you know? Give him the vial. See you in Varrock. Sure, I'm a regular at the Dancing Donkey Inn as it happens. Okay. Uh... Chemist asks for a lot of the wages he pays. Maybe you could ask him for more money. Use the initiative here and there. Here you go. Meet you with Dancing Donkey. Da Vinci? You're an errand boy for the chemist. That's my job, yes, but I don't necessarily define my identity in such black and white terms. Good for you, now can you take a vial to Varrock for me? Go on then. Vial of Athenanenanen. Okay. Sure. This music is too dramatic. Uh, what about this? Uh, where am I going? Take the plague cycle to the chemist. You can take a boat from Ardingle to Remington for- Oh, I already- No, I don't need to do that. <laughs> That's what the money was for. Okay. Vowok. Vowok. Right? Yeah. Pium, 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 pium. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, let me in, please. 
Halt, I need to conduct a search on you. There have been reports of someone bringing a virus to the area. You may now pass. Thank you. Dun, 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 dun. Talk to them. Give me my stuff, please. Hi, thanks for doing that. No problem. Thanks. Next time, give me something more valuable. I couldn't get anything for this on the black market. That was the idea. Hello again. I hope your journey was a pleasant, as pleasant as mine. Well, they say it's always sunny and glad in there. Okay, here it is. Thanks. Hi, how was your journey? Pretty thirsty inducing- oh, thirst inducing, actually. Please tell me that you haven't drunk the contents. Oh gods, no, what do you take me for? Here's your vial, anyway. Thanks, I'll let you get your drink now. Okay. Free priest gown? Wait, what? Oh, I need to talk to him, not trade him. Talk. Now you look like someone who gets a lot of fancy dress parties. Uh, what are you saying exactly? I'm saying that perhaps you would like to peruse my selection of garments. Or well, if that doesn't interest you, then maybe you have something else to offer. I'm always on the lookout for interesting and unusual new materials. You have a spare priest gown? Well, I do sell them. Don't hand them out for free, though. The shop is not a charity. Please, it's really important. I suppose you can have this old one. It's not in good enough condition to sell. Thank you. Okay, I need to take this gas mask off. I don't like it. Go away. Talk to Guido. What did I need the priest outfit for? What? Um... Oh, he's on a rocking chair. I thought he was on a rocking horse. I was like, is he okay? <laughs> Please leave my husband alone. He's very sick and I don't want anyone bothering him. Sorry to hear that. Is there anything I can do? Thank you, but I just want him to see a priest. Ah. Oh. Hello, I'm a priest now. Hello, you must be Guido. I understand that you're unwell. Is my wife asking priests to visit me now? I'm a man of science, for God's sake. I know she means well, but it's only a little cough. She made out that something was more serious. Well, it's not kill me yet, so what do you want? Come for your assistance stopping the plague. You mean the plague of West Ardangle? That's the one. I have a sample here from your former student, Elena. Elena, eh? Yes, she wants you to analyze it. You might be the only one who can help. Right then, sounds like we better get to work. I have the plague sample. Now we'll be needing some liquid honey, some sulfic broline, and then... Some then 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 Indeed. Now I'll just supply, uh, apply these to the sample, and I don't get it. The touch paper has remained the same. That's why Elena wanted you to do it, because she wasn't sure what was happening. Well, that's just it. Nothing happened. I don't know why, uh, what this sample is, but it certainly isn't toxic. So what about the plague? The result can only mean one thing. There is no plague. Seems someone's been lying about it. The only question is why... This is worrying. I better go tell Elena right away. Okay. So now I need to go back to our dingle. Yum. This way. Mm -hmm. Can I do it this time? Can I cross the log without falling off? Hell yeah. Elena. Ugh. Hi. You're back, so what did Guido say? Nothing. What? He ran his test and discovered nothing. The plague? It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist, but I don't understand. Why? I don't know, I think we were about to uncover something huge. Well, I think there's only one thing for it. The king must be confronted. The king? Yes, King Lathus of East Ardingle. He was the one that had the wall built. He was the one who called the mourners in. He must know what's really going on here. Well, I better go and speak to the king then. Be quick, you should find him in the castle. Okay. 
I've still got my priest outfit on. <laughs> I must speak to the king. Let me in. I feel like I shouldn't be allowed to just walk around in some random castle, but here we are. Dun, 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 dun. Can I just have that? Hello? It's locked! Hello! I assume you're King Lapis of East Ardengel? You assume correctly, but where did you get such impertinence? I get it from finding out that the plague is a hoax. A hoax? I've never heard such a ridiculous thing. I have evidence from Guido of Varrock. Ah, oh, I see. Well then you're right about the plague, but I did it for the good of my people. When is it ever good to lie to people like that? When it protects them from a far greater danger, a fear too big to fathom. I don't understand. When my father was king, he ruled over a united Ardingle, but on his deathbed he could not decide which of his sons should succeed him, so he had the city split in two. I became king of East Ardingle, while my brother Tyrus ruled over West Ardingle. My brother was a good man and was great at many things. Being a king was not one of them. Rather than looking after his people, he went on numerous expeditions to the lands west of here. One of these expeditions, he was captured by the forces of the Dark Lord. The Dark Lord agreed to spare his life, but only on one condition, that he would drink from the Chalice of Eternity. So what happened? The Chalice corrupted him. He joined forces with the Dark Lord, the embodiment of pure evil. And so I erected the wall, not just to protect my people, but to protect all the people of Gwelinir. Tyrus is king of West Ardingle. Sealing off the city was the only way to stop him and the Dark Lord. Wait, how can he not just get out? I knew people would never believe the truth, so I had the plague made up as an excuse for the cordon. I'm not proud of it, but it was the only way to keep people safe. I see. Well, at least now I know. While my brother is still at large, I must ask that you keep this secret. We can't bring the wall down until we know he's no longer a danger. But how do we stop him? You're willing to help? Gods be praised! My brother is currently gathering strength in the lands to the west. If we are to stop him, we must find a way through the mountains. There is an underground pass that should lead through, uh, but it's full of danger. <gasps> Wait, this is the next thing I need to do. I need to do this for, um, fucking Iban's Blast. That's what it's called. Return to me when you're ready to face this peril. Until then, I give you permission to use my training area. It's located to the northwest of the city. I'll also let the mourners know that you're a friend to our dingle, and you will be allowed to pass through the gates to West Ardingle whenever you please. Now, you better be off, you have much to prepare for. Bum 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 bum! Hooray! Do you need anything else? No, not really. No. I'll come back later. Because I was gonna do, um... Uh... Va... Vawok. I Actually, I was gonna do Vawok, uh... Easy... No, medium. Before I did Biohazard, but I forgot. <laughs> I forgot! Right. Vawok. Medium. Oh! Because I haven't actually finished Enlightened Journey yet! Wait, wait, wait. Is my... is my sapling done? Where is it? Here. No? Four? I thought it was gonna be at like three! Why is it gone up? Ugh. Fine, well I guess I might as well do this then. Shall I do our dingle easy first? Our dingle... Easy. Yeah, I can do this. Easy, easy, easy. Uh, I don't need to go to the GE though. Eh? Teleport. Oh, and take off the stupid priest outfit. Go away. <laughs> I don't want this. Meow, 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 meow,
Mew. Okay. Uh, please, may I have one rusty sword? Rust. Huh? Where do I get a rusty sword from? What the hell? Oops. the sword. Broken sword that can be repaired. I don't want to repair it. Where do I get it? for one ah oh <laughs> you can't hear it because I haven't got it um sourced but the the time of running out noise scared the shit out of me so that's what that noise was for uh <laughs> excuse me okay so I guess I'll go to the dig site and go dig for one. And a hundred coins. Okay. Uh, what do I use to dig for stuff? Is it this? I can just bring all this crap. I don't know what I need. Dig site pendant. To... Excite. How many birdhouses? Not done yet. Okay, uh, I need to dig in some soil. Soil. Broken armor. Uh. Nothing. Some boots? A ball. Hot. Another pot. Hmm. Am I digging in the right place? Do I need to use the trowel? Oh. Okay. More bones. Wait, does it need to be a level one? Well, that's level two. Private dig. That's level one dig. What's this? Level one dig. Okay. Give me a rusty sword. Where are your leather gloves?
fine. God damn, you know what? Wait, 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 you know what? I know I've got some in the bank. Honestly. They're the gloves. If I'm using up my fucking dicks like pendant charges. <sighs> but the the reward is apparently pretty good. You get a TP. I like being able to teleport. <sighs> Thank fuck I dug up those boots earlier. God. How many people are dropping their boots in the dig site? What's that? Rotten apple, for fuck's sake. An old tooth. Some broken glass, great. And bury these bones. I can throw that on the floor. Give me a sword! Ah! Finally. Ah! Oh, beautiful. Right. Uh. Dun 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 dun. Where am I going? Is it. Wait, where's our Dinglesby? Wait, where the hell am I going? I don't see it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there it is! Okay. Uh... Best way to get here is probably this. C-I-Q. Put all this crap away. Some of this might be like... Things I can give to the museum, but I'm not doing that right now. Actually, go this way. I'll go past the GE. The G. Ooh, I can click on the Snow Ager. Hang on. Snow Ager. A rotten radish. Good for me. Right. Let me throw all this stuff away. Give me that rusty sword. Give me the silk. Give me the coins. 
uh, this I might as well bring runes just in case Hi PK! Hi hi! How you doing? What did I say it was? C... I... Q uh, uh. You can have your house here? I don't think I want to have my house here. I'm like really avoiding doing house stuff. Just like in real life. Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, I'm having a pretty good day. I'm getting some stuff done. I'm just chilling in my little bundle. Vibing. Wait, no, don't trade. Fuck. Hello. Most warm welcome to my Hunter Emporium. We have everything the discerning hunter could need. Would you like to show, uh, like me to show you our range of equipment, or is there something specific you were after? See what you've got. Okay. Do I need anything from here? Habit snare, butterfly jar, magic box. No, I'm good, thanks. Okay. Go out on the fishing trawler. Where is that? Up there. Okay. Some big old farming patches here. Oh, it's a hops patch and just some wheat. Okay. <gasps> Piano! You look as cute as ever today. Thank you. What the hell is this? What the fuck is this? Potions. There's a bunch of rocks here too. Dang. Dang. Impus. Please go faster. Uh, flank, gimme. One day I'll do my construction and I'll have all the planks I need. <laughs> do I not need like fishing equipment to go on here? Ship will leave in one minute. Okay. I really hope I'm not in danger. <laughs> Let me have a drink while this boat's getting ready. I, I can just leave. Let's go. Uh... Two 
too far from shore to teleport. Uh... Can I leave? Take me back. Yeah, take me back. Take me back. Take me back. We're too far out now, it would be dangerous. Take me back! Um, can I, can I TP now? Wait, no, I don't have access to my magic. Wait, what? There's sharks. What do I... What do I do? Climb on a barrel. I can't get a grip on it. Try again. Bro. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, there we go. Right. Where am I? Okay, that's fine. Where do I need to go? Uh, surely it's gotta be somewhere in Ardingle, because that's where the diary is. Oh! Oh, it's there! Okay. Let's just run back around. Oops. Wait, there's about a 1% chance this fails and you'll need another sword and more coins. Oh, it better not. It better not. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Give me these planks. <laughs> no, not the- no. Right. Hello? Welcome to my special antiques boutique. Here's the rusty sword. There you go, my friend. It turned out to be a mithril longsword. Hell yes! Look at me go. Right, finish room mysteries. Have wizard crum crumpty teleport you to the essence mine. Where's this? Up there. Okay. I'm just gonna be lazy. Excuse me. Hello! Take me to the mine. Take me to the mine. Take me to the mine. Whee! Sell the silk to the silk trader for 60 coins. Okay. Where's the silk trader? No, I don't want to steal. I'll talk to the silk mer mer merchant. Hello! I would like to sell you the silk. There we go. Check what pets you have insured. Uh, okay. I know it's none. I don't have any pets. I mean, I've got a cat. Hi, Branwen! I want pets, though. I want pets so bad. Okay. Use the altar in East Ardingle. Requires less than full prayer points. Ah, I've got, like, one prayer point missing. Let's go. Boop! 
Use our dingle lever to teleport to the wilderness. You may pull the lever there to return. This will take you deep wilderness. Bank anything you aren't willing to lose. I mean, I could just immediately TP out, right? Unless there are people who, like, wait outside there to smack people doing the thing. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Bank is up there. Where's the litter? Oh, litter's over there. Okay. Okay. Bank. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Bone zone. Right, let's just fucking dump everything in them. Just in case someone decides to be rude and smack me. Right, where is it? Over there. I'm brave. We pull it again, pull it again, pull it again, pull it again. We okay. I got a bunch of new fucking tracks for doing that. That's so many. Oh, bunch of new songs on the shuffle. Enter the combat training camp. Where's that? Was that a river of piss? I think it was lava. But I didn't want to stick around for very long, just in case. You never know. Piss? Oh, here we go. Okay, let me out. Talk to two pints in the Flying Horse Inn. Okay. And then I'll get a new cape. Which is kind of annoying because then I won't be able to use my graceful cape at the same time. Hello! Give me my reward! Give me my reward! Give it, thank you! I can see that, well done! Reward! Thank you! Yes! Give! Cloak is a symbol of your exploration of Ardingle. The citizen in West Ardingle will buy any cats for 200 death runes each? You can sell cats for death runes. You have a 10% better chance at thieving from stalls in Ardingle. Some drops at the Tower of Life will be noted, and the cape can teleport you to the monastery south of Ardingle. Thanks! Never lose your cloak, come back and reclaim it. Okay. Bye! Ooh! Antique lamp. Um. I want to put it in this, but you can only put it in ones that are like above a certain level. Let's put it in Edgy. Whee! It didn't even get me a level! Okay. Ooh. Nice. What a fancy cape. Hmm. Delightful. Okay. What was I doing next? My fucking tree isn't done yet. Uh, underground pass I could do. 
Or I could go and do some Slayer for a bit. Let's go do some Slayer for a bit. I've been doing a lot of quests. Um... Wait, so where does the CP mean to? TP's me to the monastery, which is... Oh, this. Okay. TP's me here. Okay. No, for fuck's sake. What'd you do that for, you bitch? Okay. I would like... Um... Chaos runes. And... Fire runes. And... Air stick. And... Magic gear. And... This. Um... Remember this and are basically the same thing, just one is more threatening. I mean, they're both threatening in different ways. Like, have a good rest of your day. Mm. That That's really threatening to me. I don't like it. No, I need to turn my lizard mat back on. Okay. Have a good rest of your day. Mm. I can't turn my head very far. Am I going to need more fire runes? I might need more of both. Which is kind of cringy and I don't like it. <gasps> I'm stupid. I could, what I could do is, 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 monastery and go fairy ring. Whoa. But I will just run for now. Upside down to me is like when you're laying on your back after giving up. That's <laughs> why we are like start stop and ready to fucking get you. That's so true. <laughs> Runes, please. My runes have to fucking be expensive. Chouse. Get me like 200 more. Thanks. Fire. Get me like a thousand. Don't you hate when, like, the tip of your nose is itchy? Because when you try and scratch it, it, like, wangles around. Or is that just me? <laughs> Doesn't fucking stay still. Hmm. 
Wangle. <laughs> I don't know why I speak like this, okay? I don't, I don't know. I think that's just you. What? When you scratch the tip of your nose, it doesn't fucking wiggle about. Don't scratch it so fucking hard. Well, how am I supposed to scratch it if I just fucking gently caress it? Doesn't work like that. <laughs> That's such a good emote. Look at him go. I know, right? I love having BTTV emotes. I always feel like I should get more, though. I also love that fucking fish. <laughs> Raise the rat king? Hell yeah. He's a wiggly rat king. The fucking fish. <laughs> Ogfish. Oggies. Did I keep Og in in my emotes? Oh, I did. I do need new ones. I need new emotes. Scratch it with your nail. Not like bat at it like it's some fucking cat toy. I do scratch it with my nail. Wait, what? But sometimes you've got to put a bit of force behind it. Otherwise it doesn't... It doesn't hit right. <laughs> How <laughs> wrinkly is your nose? I don't know! I didn't realize it was abnormal. Is your nose made of jelly? It could be. Oh fuck yeah, the cow. I added that one recently. The cow's good. Hello, why didn't you do it right? Hello, you did the cow wrong. Do it right next time. There we go. God, I'm so fucked up. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are having fun with the emotes. It makes me happy. Happy that you're using the things I supply you with. It's like giving a pet a bunch of toys. I want to give you like, loads of things. And the sausage rolls! Thank you for the sausage rolls. The redeems, the emotes, and it's like giving you a bunch of different things you can do in case I'm boring you. <laughs> like if I'm being boring, at least you've got buttons to press. Ooh, a magic staff. Mm. Mm. Okay, because I'm not speaking like a fuckwit now, let's go back to story time while I save spot these guys. I can't reach my book. <laughs> I got it. How are we supposed to know which special emotes are available? What do you mean? Oops, I'm not safe. <laughs> I'm not safe. Huh? Mmm, law rings. <gasps> Tentacles. Wiggly squiggly. Ooh, wiggly squiggly. Where's everyone getting this mystical knowledge that if they type a fucking fish pogging will appear. Do you not have the browser plugin? Because then you'll have uh, these emotes in the same place where you can get my emotes. They're like in the in the Twitch like emote selection panel. You'll also have those ones. Like you don't even have to type them. You can just click it. 
Well, get the plug-in then. It's called BTTV. For better Twitch TV. Oh, Chouse Runes, fuck, yeah! Also, it's not just a Chrome plugin, you don't have to use Chrome. I think it's on everything. It should be on everything. Okay, let me let me turn this music down. Oops. And then I'm gonna do the toys. Also, shoosh slightly. Man, I'm killing these kind of quick though. Well, no, I'm not. It's just because I'm not paying attention. Uh, drop that on the floor. I don't want it. It's worthless to me. Bleh. Okay. Book time. There's still so much of this fucking book left. <laughs> and then I've got an even bigger one. <laughs> okay. In case you forgot, uh, we were reading a story where... The whoever the the author's perspective is, uh, became infatuated by a man who makes special glasses that let you see the truth of the world and the, the truth of people. And we're going through like the glasses man's entire fucking life story or something apparently. So that's fun. Me having to stop every two seconds to pick up loot there. Uh, I don't want the coal, the coal can fuck off. Eh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So much I learned from Mr. Penry in the first few days of our acquaintance, and then for weeks and weeks he did not tell me any more. He seemed to regard the rest of his story as too fantastic and improbable for belief, and he was nervously apprehensive lest he should turn uh, turn me against him by telling it. Again and again, however, he hinted at further knowledge, more difficult experiments, a more arduous seeking, till my curiosity was aflame, and I pressed him, perhaps unduly, for the whole truth. In those weeks of constant companionship, our friendship had grown with almost every meeting. It was impossible to escape the charm of Henry's personality. He was so absorbed in his work, so heedless of the ordinary vanities and greeds of men, so simple and kindly and sympathetic, that I grew to love him. Ah! <gasps> Gay. I mean, it sounded like it was love at first sight. He was like, I put on the glasses and his eyes were like the most beautiful blue I'd ever seen. And I couldn't stop looking at him or thinking about him. <laughs> he had his little faults, of course, his little peculiarities, surface irritabilities of temper, moments of undue depression in which he de uh, depreciated himself and his work. Moments of undue elation in which he overestimated the importance of what he had done. He would have struck most people as a little flighty and uncertain, but his passionate devotion to his work lifted the soul, and his faults were, after all, insignificant in comparison with his noble and rare qualities. How did I kill that one so fast? I had met no one in life who aroused the higher impulses in me as he did. Excuse me? It seemed probable that his latest experiments would be the most daring and the most instructive, and accordingly I pressed him to tell me about them with some insistence, and after a time he consented. I don't know how it came about, he began, but the contempt of men for my researches exercised a certain influence on me, and at length I took myself seriously to task. Was there any reason for their disdain and dislike? Did these glasses of mine really show things as they are, or was I offering but a new caricature of truth which people were justified in rejecting as unpleasant? I took up again my books on optics and studied the whole subject anew from the beginning. 
Even as I worked, a fear grew upon me. I felt that there was another height before me to climb, and that the last bit of the road would probably be the steepest of all. In the... Gospels. Hello? He went on in a low, reverent voice. Many things are symbolic and a universal application, and it always seemed to me significant that the Hill of Cavalry came at the end of a long journey. But I shrank from another prolonged effort. I said to myself I couldn't face another task. Yeah. Like the last. But all the while, I had a sort of uncomfortable... Pre prescience? That the hardest part of my life's work lay before me. Okay. I don't know what some words mean, but that's fine. Aroused! I don't know when you said that, actually. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish I had time stamps. Are the Beatles aroused? <laughs> I suppose they would be. I should bury these bones. I'm running out of pocket space. You get the timestamps if you look at it in the mod view. Um, well, I'm looking at it in OBS and not in a browser because I need to have access to all of my other stream-related gubbins. Oh, prayer level! Ripping shit then? Well, I'll just live without it. Who cares? One day, a casual statement stirred me profoundly. The primary colours, you know, are red, yellow, and blue. The colours shown in the rainbow vary from red to blue and violet. The vibrations or lengths of the light waves that give us violet grow shorter and shorter, at length give us red. These vibrations can be measured. One day, quite by chance, I came across the statement that there were innumerable light waves longer than those which give violet. At once, uh, the question sprang, were these longer waves represented by colours which we don't see? Colours for which have no name, colours of which we can form no conception. And was the same thing true of the waves which growing shorter and shorter give us the sensation of red? There is room, of course, for myriads of colours beyond this other extremity of our vision. A little study convinced me that my guess was right, for all the colours which we see are represented to our sense of feeling in degrees of heat, that is, blue shows one reading on the thermometer and red is a higher reading, and by means of this new standard I discovered that man's range of vision is not even placed in the middle of the register of heat, but occupies a little space far up towards the warmer extremity of it. Yeah, yeah. We're fucking learning. Learning about light waves. There are thousands of degrees of cold lower than blue and hundreds of degrees heat above red. All these graduations are doubtless represented by colours which no human eye can perceive, no human mind can imagine. It's with sight and with, uh, it is with sight as with sound. We know now that there are noises louder than thunder which we cannot hear. The roar that lies on the other side of silence. We are there. Yeah. One of my pages has gotten all crinkled. Meh. Uh. We men are poor, restless prisoners, hemmed in by our senses as by the walls of a cell, hearing only a part of nature's orchestra, and that part imperfectly. Yeah. What's with this spooky music? Why's it gotta be so spooky? Seeing only a thousandth part of the colour marvels about us, and seeing that inf... infin... Infinitesimal... Tesimal? Part? Incorrectly and partially. Here was new knowledge with vengeance. Knowledge that altered all my work. How was I to make glasses to show all this? Glasses that would reveal things as they are and must be to higher beings. The ultimate reality. I swear I wasn't getting these magic staffs last time I killed these guys. At once the new quest became the object of my life, and somehow or other I knew before I began the work like- uh, the work? That the little scraps of comfort of happiness which I had preserved up to this time, I should now forfeit. I realized with shrinking and fear, 
that this new inquiry would still further remove me from the sympathy of my fellows. My provision was justified, I had hardly got well to work, that is, I had only spent a couple of years in vain and torturing experiments, when I was one day arrested for debt. I had paid no attention to the writ, the day of the trial came and went without my knowing anything about it, and there was a man in possession of my few belongings before I understood what was going on. Can you hit me from here? Mm, scared. Oh, oh, oh. Then I was taught by experience that to owe money is the one unforgivable sin in the nation of shopkeepers. My goods were sold up and I was brought to utter destitution. The old man paused, and then sent to prison because I could not pay. But, I asked, did your daughters do nothing? Surely they could have come to your help. Oh, they were more than kind, he replied simply. The eldest especially, perhaps because she was childless herself, I called her Gabriel, he added lingering over the name. She was very good to me. As soon as she heard the news, she paid my debt and set me free. She brought things too, and fitted out two nice rooms for me and arranged everything again quite comfortably. But you see, he went on with a timid, depreciating smile, I tired out even her patience. I could not work at anything that brought in money, and I was continually spending money for my researches. <laughs> the nice furniture went first, the pretty tables and chairs, and then the bed. I should have wearied an angel. Again and again, Gabriel bought me furniture and made me tidy and comfortable, as she said and again and again. Like a spendthrift boy, I threw it all away. How could I think of tables and chairs when I was giving my life to my work? Besides, I always felt that more I was plagued and punished, the more certain I was to get out the best in me. Solitude and want are the twin nurses of the soul. Could never be me. I love material possessions. But didn't you wish to get any recognition, any praise? I broke in. I knew by this time, he answered, that in proportion as my work was excellent, I should find fewer to understand it. How many had I seen come to praise and honour while Rossetti fell to nerve disease and madness? Yet his work endures and will endure, while theirs is already forgotten. The tree that grows to a great height wins to solitude, even in a forest. Its highest outshoots find no companions save the winds and stars. I try to console myself with such similes as this. He went on with a depreciative smile. Depre de Deprecatory. <laughs> as, uh, for the years as passed, I seemed to come no nearer to success. At last, the way opened for me a little, and after eight or ten years of incessant experiment, I found that partial success was all I should ever accomplish. Oh my god, I'm losing it. I wish I knew what it was like to be able to, like, read. To be able to have your mouth function in the way that your brain expects it to would be a miracle. Listen, there is not one pair of eyes in a million that could ever see what I had taught myself to see, for the passion of the soul brings with it its own reward. After caring for nothing but truth for twenty years, thinking of nothing but truth, and wearying after it, I could see it more clearly than other men, get closer to it than they could. So the best part of my labour, I mean the highest result of it, became personal, entirely personal, and this disappointed me. If I could do no good to others by it, what was my labour but a personal gratification? And what was, uh, what that was to me at my age, I seemed to lose heart, to lose zest. Perhaps it was that old age had come upon me, that the original sum of energy in me had been spent. My bolt was shot, it may be so. Why is this fucking hyperactive music playing right now? Oops. The fact remains that I lost the desire to go on, and when I'd lost that, I woke up, of course, to the ordinary facts of life once again. I had no money, I was weak from semi-starvation and long vigils, prematurely old and decrepit. Once more, Gabriel came to my assistance. She fitted up this room, and then I went out to sell my glasses as a peddler. I brought the tray and made specimens of all the spectacles I'd made, and hawked them about the streets. 
Why shouldn't I? No work is degrading to the spirit. None. I could not be a burden to the one I loved. Now I knew my best efforts would not benefit others. I did not get along very well. The world seemed strange to me, and men a little rough and hard. Besides, the police seemed to hate me. I don't know why. Perhaps because I was poor, and yet unlike the poor they knew. They persecuted me, and the magistrates before whom they brought me always believed them, and never believed me. I've been punished times without number for obstruction, though I never annoyed at anyone. The police never presented that I had cheated or stolen from anyone before, but after all this latest charge of theirs brought me to know you and gave me your friendship, and I feel so that all the shame has been more than made up to me. My heart burned with me, uh, within me as he spoke so gently of his unmerited sufferings. I told him I was proud of being able to help him, put his hand on mine with a little smile of comprehension. A day or two later, curiosity awoke in me again, and I asked him to let me see a pair of the new glasses, those that show the ultimate truth of things. Oh, I need to bury more bones. Having to put a pause on the, uh, the gay. The surprising gay. Or maybe it's just a bromance. Perhaps someday, he answered quietly. I suppose my face fell, for after a while, he went on meditatively. There are faults in them, you see. Shortcomings and faults in you too, my friend. Believe me, if I was sure that they would cheer or help you in life, I would let you use them quickly enough, but I'm beginning to doubt their efficacy. Perhaps the truth of things is not for man. When we entered the court on the day of Penry's trial, Morris and myself were of opinion that the case would not last long, and that it would certainly be decided in our favour. The only person who seemed at all doubtful of the issue was Penry himself. Yep. I still have so many giants to kill. He smiled at me half pityingly when I told him that in an hour we should be on our way home. The waiting seemed interminable, but at length the case was called. The counsel for the prosecution got up and talked perfunctionally for five minutes with a sort of careless unconcern that seemed to, seemed to me callous and unfeeling. Then he began to call his witnesses. The workman, I noticed, was not in court. His evidence had been rather in favour of the accused, and the prosecution on that account left it out. But Mr. Allett, as he called himself, of Ig Olben... Oh, I Olben, instead of Hi Holben? was more voluble and vindictive than he'd been at the police court. Longbone? What's a longbone? Excuse me. It's worth a thousand. But I could bury it. I'll probably keep it to sell it. He had the time to strengthen his evidence, too, to make it more bitter and more telling. He had used his leisure mal malignantly. It seemed to me that everyone should have seen his spite and understood the, vi the vileness of his motives. But no, again and again the judge emphasised those parts of his story which seemed to tell most against the accused. The judge was evidently determined that the jury should not miss any detail of the accusation, and his bias appeared to me... iniquitous? But there was a worse surprise in store for us. <laughs> After Hallett, the prosecution called a canon of Westminster. A stout man with a heavy jowl and loose, suasive lips. Canon Baton. He told us how he had grown interested in Penry and his work, and how he had bought all his earlier glasses, the Rossetti glasses as he called them. The canon declared that these artistic glasses threw a very valuable light on things, redeemed the coarseness and commonness of life, and made reality beautiful and charming. He was not afraid to say that he regarded them as instruments for good, but the truth-revealing glasses seemed to excite his utmost hatred and indignation. 
He could not find a good word to say for them. He only showed, he said, what was terrible and brutal in life. When looking through them, all beauty vanished. The charming flesh covering fell away and you saw death's head grinning at you. Instead of the parental affection, you found personal vanity. Instead of the tenderness of the husband for the wife, gross and common sensuality. Yeah, but being horny is not that bad. Instead of taking a break from your screen, I don't think so. Oh my god. All high motives withered, and instead of the flowers of life, you were compelled to look at the worm-like roots and the clinging dirt. He concluded his evidence by assuring the jury that they would be doing a good thing if they put an end to the sale of such glasses. The commerce was worse than fraudulent, he declared. It was blasphemy against God and an outrage on human nature. The unctuous canon seemed to me worse than all the rest, but the effect he had on the jury was unmistakable, and our barrister Simmons refused to cross-examine him. To do so, he said, would only strengthen the case for the prosecution, and I have no doubt that he was right, for Morris agreed with him. Wait, when did I get this? I have a fucking clue scroll. Nice. But even the prosecuting witnesses did not hurt us more than the witnesses for the defence. Mr. Penry had been advised by Mr. Morris to call a witness to his character, and he'd called half a dozen of the most respectable tradesmen of his acquaintance, and all, he, all did him harm rather than good. They all spoke of having known him twenty years before, when he was well-to-do and respectable. They laid stress upon what they called his fall in life. They all seemed to think that he had neglected his business and come to ruin by his own fault. No one of them had the faintest understanding of the man or his work. It was manifest from the beginning that these witnesses damaged our case, and was apparently the view of the prosecuting barrister, for he scarcely took the trouble to cross-examine them. It was with a sigh of relief that I saw Mr. Penry go into the box to give evidence on his own behalf. Now I thought the truth will come to light. Berry de bones, berry de bones, berry de bones. He stated everything with the utmost clearness and precision, but no one seemed to believe him. The wish to understand him was manifestly wanting in the jury, and from the beginning the judge took sides against him. From time to time he interrupted him just to bring out what he regarded as the manifest falseness of his testimony. You say that these glasses show the truth, he said. Who wants to see the truth? Very few, was Penry's reply. Why then did you make the glasses, went on the judge, if you knew that they would disappoint people? I thought it my duty to do so, replied Penry. Your duty to disappoint and anger people, retorted the judge, a strange view to take duty. And you got money for this unpleasant duty, didn't you? A little, was Penry's reply. Yes, but you still got money, persisted the judge. You persuaded people to buy your glasses knowing that they would be disappointed in them, and you induced them to give you money for the disappointment. Have you anything else to urge in your defence? I was at my wit's end. I scarcely knew how to keep quiet in my seat. It seemed to me so easy to see the truth, but even Penry seemed indifferent to the result, indifferent to a degree that I could scarcely complain, explain or excuse. This is the last question, however, of the judge. Oh, this last question, however, of the judge aroused him. The harsh, contemptuous words fell upon the ear. He leaned forward and, selecting a pair of spectacles, put them on and peered around the court. I noticed that he was slightly flushed. In a moment or two, he took the glasses off and turned to the judge. My lord, he said, you seem determined to condemn me, but... If you do condemn me, I want you to do it with some understanding of the facts. I've told you that there are very few persons in this country who have any faculty for the truth, and that the few who have usually have ruined their power before they reach manhood. You scoff and sneer at what I say, but it still remains the simple truth. I looked round the court just now to see if there were anyone here young enough, ingenious enough, pure enough, to give evidence on my behalf. I find that there is no one in the court whom can appeal with any hope of success. But, my lord, in the room behind this court there is a child sitting, a girl with fair hair, probably your lordship's daughter. Allow me to call her as a witness. Allow her to test the glasses and say what she sees through them, and then you will find that these glasses do alter and change things in a surprising way to those who can use them.
I don't know how you knew it, broke, the, broke in the judge, but my daughter is in the room waiting for me, and if what you say seems and what you say seems to have some sense in it, but it's entirely unusual to call a child, and I don't know what I have any right to allow it. Still, I don't want you to feel that you have not had every opportunity of clearing yourself, so if the jury consent, I am quite willing that they should hear what this new witness may have to say. We are willing to hear the witness, said the foreman, but really, your lordship, our minds are made up about the case. The next moment, the child came into the court, a girl of thirteen or fourteen, with a bright, intelligent face, a sort of shy fear troubling the directness of her approach. Wait, wait. I'm running out of inventory space. I'm sure I can throw some of this on the floor. I want you to look through a pair of spectacles, my child, said Henry to her, and tell us just what you see through them. And as he spoke, he peered at her in his strange way, as if judging her eyes. He then selected a pair of glasses and handed them to her. The child put them on and looked around the court, and then cried out suddenly, Oh, what strange people, and how ugly they all are! All ugly, except you who gave me the glasses. You are beautiful. Turning hastily around, she looked at her father and added, Oh, papa, you are... Oh! She took off the glasses quickly while a burning flush spread over her face. I don't like those glasses, she said indignantly, laying them down. They are horrid. My father doesn't look like that. My child, said Penry very gently, will you look through another pair of glasses? You see so much that perhaps you can see what is to be as well as what is. Perhaps you can catch some glimpse even of the future. He selected another pair and handed them to the child. There was a hush of expectancy in the court. People who had scoffed at Henry before and smiled contempt now leaned forward to hear as if something extraordinary were about to happen. All eyes were riveted on the little girl's face, every ear strained to hear what she would say. Round and round the court she looked through the strange glasses and then began to speak in a sort of frightened monotone. I see nothing, she said. I mean there is no court, no people, only great white blocks, a sort of bluey white. Is it ice? There are no trees, no animals. All is cold and white. It is ice. There is no living creature, no grass, no flowers, nothing moves. It is all cold and dead. In a frightened voice, she added, Is that the future? Henry leaned towards her eagerly. Look at the light, child, he said. Follow the light up and tell us what you see. Again, a strange hush. I heard my heart thumping while the child looked about her. Then, pulling off the glasses, she said peevishly, I can't see anything anymore. It hurts my eyes. Death in Prison Matthew Penry, whose trial for fraud and condemnation will probably still be remembered by our readers because of the very impressive evidence for the prosecution given by Canon Baton of Westminster, died. We understand in Wandsworth Prison yesterday morning from... Synco? Extract from the Times, January 3rd, 1900. That's how it ends? Man made such fucked up glasses that, like, he traumatized a child? <laughs> and then he got sent to prison and died? Bruh. <laughs> that is not how I expected that to end. Oh my god. That's a whack-ass ending, what the fuck? Yeah, like... I thought... I, mean, I don't know... Him and his artistic, intelligent friends were able to create something, and that something became their own downfall. What's the... What's the moral? I thought it was gonna be, like... One of those things that Crowley loves, which is being smart, good. Oh... <laughs> Fanfic authors, when they're bored of their series, be like? <laughs> Dude, I don't even know what to think, man. I don't even know. Right, that's... 
worthless. We can drop that. Uh, we can drop that. Okay, I need a drink before I move on to the next thing. Uh, what is the next thing called? Hang on. The... Chimical? Or is that how they used to say chemical? Jousting of a brother... Paradua? Paradua? With the seven lances that he break. Okay, I'm gonna have to look up how you say chimical, or what it is, because I feel like that might come up. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna have a drink. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay, let me have a quick Google. Oh, a trimical is an obsolete form of chemical. How do you pronounce it, though? Is it trimical? Yeah, I think I am doing it right. It's a stupid word, though. <laughs> it's fucking dumb as hell. Okay. How long is this next story, then? How long is this? Well, not very long. There's a bunch of short ones coming up. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think the glasses one was just really long. But it ended so abruptly. <laughs> I still can't fucking cope with that shit. <laughs> and then he went to prison and died. Okay. Sure. Oh my god. Right. The chimical jousting of a brother Paradua with the seven lances that he break. Instead of broke, he break them. Ooh, an image. I simply cannot figure out what this is. Um, let me let me try and describe it. There's there's a lot going on. Okay. Um, so it's on a black background, so everything's quite hard to see. Uh, along the left side is a, like a really twisty snake. Like, it goes all the way from the top of the page to the bottom of the page, and then along the bottom of the page, it's just like corkscrew in its way. Uh, I think it's breathing fire, or it's got something in its mouth. I don't know. It might be breathing fire. Uh, and then below the snake's head is like a wheel with with a... What is that? Like 12-pointed star in the middle for some reason. Uh, and then in, in the top right corner, I simply do not know what this is. There's like... It could be God. It looks like some kind of cloud man with his arms out like he's T-posing. Uh, and below him is like... A, a bunch of scrolly parchment doodads with symbols on that I can't read. Uh, and then down the right hand side there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stars. Uh, in the middle there's like a fucking Illuminati thing, but instead of just like a regular eye in the middle it's the, the Egyptian one that I don't remember the name of. Uh, and the Illuminati thing is inside of another star, 
with uh 12 points i think or is that 10 i don't know i can't count i have horus that's the one um and then <laughs> and then <laughs> this seems like a whole mess it is and then in <laughs> In the bottom left corner, but uh, inside the snake, like uh, inside the border of the snake, is like a sphinx standing on this really plain cube with its back feet and on a sphere with its front feet. Is the snake eating its own tail? Unfortunately not. I do love Ouroboros. Um, and then in the bottom right, there's a lion jumping from one crescent moon into another. <laughs> It's quite the image. I don't know what the fuck it's representing. Um... <laughs> I simply don't know. Okay. <laughs> this is some what's your star sign shit. Should I post it in Discord? Hang on, let me take a picture of it. Um... I could probably, like spend ages finding it on Google, but let's just take a picture of it. <laughs> My phone was recognizing the 12-pointed star as a face, and I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Huh? Oh, fucking Discord just exploded on my phone. Come back to me. It somehow looks more legible in this photo than it does on the page. Right, I'm posting it in stream stuff. Enjoy. Enjoy this funky image. What the fuck is this? Yeah, I know, right? Did you see why I was struggling to describe it? <laughs> it's like when you're a kid and you just draw small on a page and you can fit multiple random things on a page. Like, these things don't seem to have anything to do with each other. They're just there. <laughs> Funny image. That is something, yeah. I like the twisty snake though, I think the twisty snake is pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but it's there. Okay, anyways. The chimical jousting of Brother Paradua with the seven lances that he break. Why am I not fighting? I don't have enough runes to cast this spell. Oh, can you end my life, please? <sighs> Use this. Go. Thank you. Right. He slayeth Sir Argon Le Pas Pareswex Now Brother Paradua, though he was but a zealot of our ancient order, had determined in himself to perform the magnum opus and to procure for himself one grain of the powder one minimum of the elixir, minim of the elixir, and the tincture of double efficacy. Not just efficacy, but double efficacy. Oh, hello, it's my lucky day. Quiz show, yes, let's go. Fuck my story, I'm 
on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Or is it Mastermind? I don't know. Odd one out, this. Odd one out, uh, this. Uh, this. Uh, fish. I win! Mystery box. Ah, don't hit me! What's in my mystery box? A casket? I should probably keep that closed. I don't, I don't have <laughs> I have space in my pockets for multiple things you can find in a casket. Okay. Not fully did he yet comprehend the mysterium of our art. Therefore he imposed upon himself the painful sevenfold regimen. For without the bell of Electrum Magicum of... Per... 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 per Kelsus Perakelsus. How should the adept even give warning to the powers of the work of his entity thereunto? Yet our brother, being stout of heart, though he had been a soldier in many distant lands, began right cheerfully. His head that was hoary with eld, what do any of these words mean? Crowned with five petals of white lotus, as if to signify the purity of his body, and went forth into that place where is no field, nor any furrow therein, and there he sowed a scroll that had two and twenty seeds diverse. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is any of this? Hori with Eld? Um, it's spelt like... hang on. Is that right? Is that how it's spelled? Where is it? Yeah. Like that. Like, hooray! But not. <laughs> what does it mean? White with age! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Script on the Godman guy dudes thing is almost definitely Hebrew. Oh, that makes sense. But funnily enough, I can't read that. I can only kind of read English. <laughs> Not entirely, just a bit. Okay. What? <laughs> Let's see if I can get through this. He slayeth Sir Abjad the Saracen, nor for all his care and labour could he gather therefrom more than seven plants that shone in the blackness. And each plant beareth a single blossom that hath seven petals, one would have thought them stars. For though they were not of a variety themselves, brilliant and flashing, yet so black was that wherein they grew they seemed brighter than suns. And these were placed one above the other in a single line and straight, even according unto the seven centers of his intention that he bear about him in the hollow tube that hath thirty and two joints. Wait, is it describing the image? Wait, 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 wait. So there's the, the seven flowers on top of each other. Where's the 32 joints? Is it the snake? Does the snake have 32 joints? Is that what's happening? Ooh, my slayer level went up. Okay. Uh. He slayeth Sir Amorex, led Desirous. These plants did our brother Paradua pluck, as the mystic rites ordain. And these did he heat furiously in his al al alembic, yet with vegetable heat alone. Excuse me. While he kept them ever moist, dropping upon them of his lunar water, whereof he had three and seventy minims left of the eight and seventy that his father had given him. And these he had borne upon a camel through the desert unto this place where he now was, which is called the Oasis of the Lion even as the whole regimen that in the end he accomplished is in the form of a lion. Then, uh, this then, his lion waxed exceedingly thirsty, and licked up all that dew. But the fire being equal thereunto, he was not discomforted. What the fuck is any of this? What does it mean? 
It's just words. It's just words in a sequence. They don't have meaning. <laughs> Lion mentioned that's in the image? Yeah! But <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I like the way how it's like... Um, he'd born upon a camel through the desert unto this place where he now was, which is called the Oasis of the Lion. It's like... <laughs> Mate, you could say that a lot more concisely. He slayeth Sir Lionel, the warder of the marches. So now indeed he had wrought the first matter into a pitch of excellence beyond the human, for without the trouble was his tincture thus beautiful. First it had the crown and horns of Alexander the mighty king, it also had wings of fine sapphire. Its forepart was like the lion, whereby indeed it partook of the highest virtue, and its hinder qualities were a, as a bull's. Moreover it stood upon the white sphere and the red cube, and is not possible for any elixir to exceed this, unless it be by our path and working. Okay, so it's talking about that sphinx thing that's standing on the cube in the sphere, which is... whack. Give me those bones. Fucking give me. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I can't cope with this fucking book. It's so funny to me. He slayeth Sir Merlin the wizard? No! Yet our brother Per... I can't say his name still, Paradwa, and by now he was right skillful at the Athenor, determined to attain to that higher projection of our art. Therefore he subtly prepared a red dragon, or as some alchemists will have it, a fiery flying serpent. Oh, there's the snake! Uh, whereby he should eat up that sphinx of his, that he had nourished with such ingenium and care. Now this red dragon hath seven fiery coils, proper to the seven silver stars. Also was his head right venomous and greedy, and eight flames were about it. For that sphinx had two wings and four feet and two horns, but the serpent is one, even as the king is one. I'll have you know. I like how everything's always right, right venomous. Hi Kiwi, thank you for the follow. That snake is right scary. <laughs> I'm losing it. Ooh, he was right venomous, he was. <laughs> I hate this. But I can't stop. He slayeth the great dragon called Stooping or Twisted. Now then is the work utterly burnt up and abolished in that tremendous heat that is in the mouth and belly of the dragon. And that which cometh forth there therefrom is in no wise that which went in. Yet are these twelve the children of those twenty-two and twenty. No, those two and twenty. My bad. So when he had broken the... Cucabite. A bite of cucumber? He found therein no trace of the seven, but a button of fused gold, as we say, for it is not gold. Now this button hath... Twelve faces, and angles twenty-four, salient and reentrant. And our Egyptian brethren have called it the pavement of the firmament of Nu. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I just don't know. Alright, scary snake he was. Right, scary snake. Just like what I keep in my pants, he's a right scary snake. <laughs> he slayeth King Aster of the Arms Argent. Now this metal is not in any wise like unto earthly metals. Let the brethren well beware, for many false knaves be abroad. Three things be golden, the mineral gold of the merchant. That is dross, the vegetable gold that groweth from the seed of the scroll by virtue of the lion and the animal gold that cometh forth from the regimen of the dragon. And this last is the sole marketable gold of the philosopher. For behold, an arcanum! I charge you, keep secret this matter, for the vile brothers, they could divine it, would pervert it. This mineral gold cannot be changed into any other substance by any means. This vegetable gold is fluidic, it must increase wonderfully and be fixed in the perfection of the sphinx. But this, our animal gold, is to the mighty pitch unstable, that it can neither increase nor decrease, nor can it remain that which it is, or seemeth to be. For even as a drop of glass unequally cooled 
flieth at a touch into a myriad of fine particles, so also at a touch this gold philosophical dissolveth his being, oft times with great and terrible explosion, oft times so softly and subtly that no man may perceive it, be he never so acute, nay, as a needle for sharpness, for fineness, as a spyglass of the necromancers. I don't know what any of that meant. Mm -mm -mm. I still got 12 giants left to kill. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh. Yet herein lieth the core of the matter, that in this explosion aforesaid, naught whatever is left to either of the seven, or the twelve, or the three mother seeds that lie concealed therein, but in a certain mystical way the other ten are shadowed forth, though dimly, as if the brazen serpent had become a sword of lightning. Yet this is this but a glyph, for in truth there is no link or bond between them. For this animal gold is passed utterly away, there is not any button thereof, nor any feather of the wings of the sphinx, nor any mark of the sower or the seed. But at the, at that lightning flash, all did entirely disappear, and the cucurbite, cur cucurbite, and the albumic, and the athenor were shattered utterly, and there arose that which he had set himself to seek. Ye more, a grain of the powder, and three minims of the elixir, and six drachms of the tincture of double efficacy. Yet the brethren mocked him, for he had imperiled himself sore, so that unto this hour hath the name of per Peradua been forgotten. And they say that they that have need to speak of him say in right joyance, non sign folmin. What? <laughs> What? Man did some alchemy, um, but he got hurt by it, so people laughed at him. I think that's what happened. Haha, <laughs> 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 you got hurt doing funny alchemy business in the desert. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's it, by the way, that's that one done. <laughs> There were so many, like, numbers. It was like, that of the three, and of the seven, and the twelve. Like, uh, the twelve what? <laughs> what were that twelve of again? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I need another drink. It was quite saturated at the bottom of the glass there. Blah, 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 blah. Ten more to kill. That means we can read the next thing. <laughs> it's called The Lonely Bride. I think it's a short one. Yeah. It, it's a... Is this a poem? Yes. It's another poem. Did Crowley write this one? No. Someone called Victor. Why am I not attacking? Excuse me. Okay. Blessed among women, they say, I stand, here in the marketplace, and the crowd throngs by in this lonely land, nor stays to heed my face. My head is bowed down with the shame of my thought, mine eyes grow hot with disgrace, oh the evil that men have wrought. I was once a king's daughter, back in the olden time, they called me the bride of the water. I went to the sea for her rhyme, I went to the stars for their song of life, for then I was in my prime, now I am filled with strife. I stare all day at the men that pass, and all that I see I crave. There are simple gatherers fresh from the grass, there are mariners brown from the wave, there are merchants stout with tablets wide, there is many a fair young slave. They call me the Lonely Bride. Eh. This fucking lady be lusting over everyone she sees. What a mood, though. Staring at men brings thinking. 
I was men's wonder the day I came, I was ruddy and gold and pale. My eyes were light with a smouldering flame, on my lips was the untold tale. And men as they passed gazed hard and long, hard and long, you say? And women looked scorn and bail, ye, I was fair and strong. How should they know the thing I sought? I was rich, lovely, and young. Not young with the flame that the spring had wrought, but with the fire from the summer sprung. No man dared speak, but they longed to speak. Aye, many a glance they did flung. But I stood with an unflushed cheek. They did what? Oh, stop giving me stuff that I can loot. I don't have pockets for this. Ugh. Wait, what does that? Oh, that's not worth anything. Drop that fucking seed. They're on the floor. Uh, and only the strangers heed me now. I am but a statue cold. Ah, could they see the pain in my brow? My heart that is growing old. I may not summon them to my side, or move my lips stern fold. I am the lonely bride. But never a man doth dare speak, and with burning heart I stand, till I feel the hot blood mount to my cheek, and trembling shake my hand. If they but knew of my need, my need, as I wait in love's barren land, to me, to me, they speed. Oh, would they speed? Here in the marketplace they pass, merchant and slave and thrall, the dewy herb-gatherer from the grass, the steward from out the hall. Ah, the weary waiting till one shall speak, Oh, then the spell will fall, and I shall find what I seek. That's it. Um. L lady wants a man, but can't go up and, and talk to one herself and needs them to come to her instead? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Thanks for that one, Victor B. Newberg. Thanks. How long is at the fork of the roads? Oh, it's kind of long. Oh, it's kind of long. Oh, it's kind of long. How <laughs> many pages is this one? Eight pages. Okay, we'll stop. I'll stop going on with my nonsense. Put this away. I can finish my stupid Slayer task. Oh, and by the time I finish my Slayer task, the tree should have grown. Fucking eh. Sorry. I had to put my, um, book away. Oh, I don't have any space in my pockets. Clean that. Put it on the floor. Bones. There we go. Him. Can't wait to open that casket. <laughs> it needs to be worth more than a thousand, because that's the other prize you can choose from the game show. <laughs> oh, I can turn the music back up now. Bones, take the runes, bury the bones, take the key. I don't think you can sell this. Is it worth keeping? Uh, 
the average kill for the boss that you fight with that key is 83k. Alright then. I'll keep these keys. I think this is worthless, right? Oh, 610. Ow! Free stuff the stacks. No! Mm. What are these worth? 270. Get on the floor. <laughs> Maximizing money. Because I'm poor and I spent all my money on runes! I can't believe I ran out of fire runes. Uh, at least they're not expensive. But I bought so many. <laughs> worth like 200. Drop it. Give me the arrows. Oh wait, shit. Bones. Berry. Now take the arrows. Three more to kill. Blah. That's 700. Steel bars are 400. If I had the runes, I could have high out that fucking mithril sword to make some space. The shield is worth 700. Ah, uh, what's this worth? 400. Meh. I'll just drop more staffs, I guess. Bet. Why can't you just give me runes? I just want things that stack. Or one of those steel arrows. I'll take those. That would be good. my tree done? Oh, my birdhouses are done. Tree is done. Okay. Who will? I'm just fucking vibing right now. I'm sorry I'm not really saying anything. <laughs> I feel like I've said enough words for one day. Yay! I did it. Yum 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 Oh. There we go. Time to go. Throw all this stuff in there. Give me my casket. What'd I get? That wasn't worth it. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wah. Fucking sapphire. <laughs> okay. What was I gonna do? Oh, I need to go... I need to go... No, oh, actually. Give me this. Give me... This. Give me... This. Okay. So I need to go to Falador. Falador. And go snippy snip the branches off of the tree. And then, what is it called? Enlightened Journey, there it is. Oh, look at a tree! Use on this. Snippy snip! Need to wait for some new branches to grow. What? But it's grown! What do you mean? What do you mean? Check health. I advanced my farming level by doing that. Can I... Please. What do you mean? It's done growing! Bro. What? Oh, the branches will begin growing after you check the health of the willow tree. The tree will produce one willow branch every five minutes, up to a maximum of six at a time. It means if you wait for more than 30 minutes, you will only be able to cut six before having to wait five minutes to cut another. So it's going to take me an hour to collect all the branches from this? Is that what it's suggesting? So, is it going to continuously grow branches? Or will it stop growing branches at some point? Is this on my timer? Okay, well, I guess I'll go to birdhouses then. Fuck. <laughs> That's so annoying! Oh shit, I don't have... Oh, I don't have another pendant. <sighs> Give me my glory. Fucking game! Here I was, thinking I could do the fucking next Varrock Diary, but no! Gotta do these quests that take five hours. Real time. <gasps> Stop! Scroungy, 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 scroungy! No, someone else is scrounging! No! No! Did I get anything? <gasps> I did. Light orb. Unicorn horn. Tuna. Mottled eel. Snape grass. Tuna. Curry leaf. Okay. Don't know if any of it's worth anything. Not really. Oh, but I love a scrounge. Oh, I do love a scrounge. Give me my sucker tears back. Um, I would like... Not those. I'm not high alking right now. What do I want? 
Ru oops, ruby necklace. Give. Thank you. And then I want, um, no, ah, uh, fire stick, cosmic, uh, no, fuck, there we go, and then, huh! oh, it's all pennies, but I'll take it, <laughs> oh, not all of it's worthless, though, yes, simply delicious. We love a scrounge. Right, throw it all in. <laughs> More. Why wouldn't you just hide out there? Why? Why do people just throw away easy money? Like, I guess it's pennies to some people, but. Ah. Throw more stuff away. Give it to me. I want to do my birdhouses, but... Freebies on the floor. Can't resist. Scrunchy, 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 scrunchy. Okay, maybe I can go now. Oops. Uh, doop. Oops. Doop. 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 Num. 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 No, not that one. No, the other pendant. I need to high elk that one. Eh. Where's the other pendant? This one. Okay. I think they're done throwing things away now. Boop. I hope I haven't forgotten anything. Because I always seem to forget things when I come here. Just by curse. Come on, bird nest. That's one. As long as I get one per house, I'm not, I'm not sad. So when I get none, I'm gonna get angry. Hey, there we go, there we go, there we go. Mushroom meadow. What's that noise? Maybe I'm going insane. <laughs> There's a lot of noises going on in this place, to be fair. Yay! There we go. Oh, 47. Simply delightful. Teleport! Alright, what do I get? What is this? Orange tree seed. Another orange tree seed. Another orange tree seed. Are you fucking kidding me? What are these were? Oh good. Fuck all. Huh. <sighs> okay. Uh... What do I do while I wait for my branches to grow? I can get another Slayer task. Maybe. Maybe another Slayer task? Hmm, it could be another Slayer task. Oh, 
Why am I still holding this? Get rid of that. Back off. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Love you, ah. for that. <laughs> Sorry, I was getting too relaxed, wasn't I? How dare I? <laughs> uh, 67 cockatrice, that's doable, that's fine. Where do I go for that again? Oh, fairy ring. Enter the Slayer Cave. Had to bring you back to reality? Okay, I'm here, I'm back, it's alright. God, I can't believe we have terabyte SSDs, but now within the next 10 years or so, we'll be getting petabyte SSDs. I mean, the fact that we can get, like, terabyte, uh, what the fuck is it called? Mm, little fucking cards. SD cards. Like, you get, like, a mini, a mini SD. And it can have a terabyte on it. And it's like the size of your fucking... Like... The tip of your index finger. Like what? I can just get everything on the cloud now? I don't trust that shit. I don't trust that shit. I like to have something physical I can hold in my hand. Okay, I need this. Uh, we can have this. My fucking melee gear is so mismatchy. Uh, this. Uh, food. If I had a petabyte SSD, I could finally have Ark Survival Evolved downloaded. <laughs> that game is fucking massive, isn't it? Garden pie. No. I don't want anything that I can use in future. What random food can I bring? I got some cakes. Let's bring some cakes. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Right, go that way. What? The arrange. There we go. I would love to have a big hard drive. I currently have three hard drives in my PC. All of my stuff is like scattered throughout different hard drives. It's so difficult to deal with. Worst part about having a massive storage on your PC is what to delete when it gets full. What do you mean? You just get more storage. Uh, this one. Ba -da -ba -da. I 
Sperr for going something. to close this curtain. Blech. There we go. Funny slugs. Funny, funny slugs. Hello, cockatrice. Stab. I stab you. Why isn't it working? There we go. These guys drop anything. Oh well. My friend has a one terabyte SSD and a twenty four terabyte HDD. That's a thing you can do. Mad. Blows my mind. Twenty four terabytes on one drive. Brain exploding. Technology scary. Sweet corn seed. Ah. Okay, well it seems like these guns can't really hit me, so... That's fun. I might have to leave partway through this slayer task to get my willow branches, actually. Ugh. Gross. It's on a hard disk drive, which aren't as fast as a solid state drive, but 24 ter terabytes is a lot. He mostly just keeps photos and videos on that one, and his game's on the SSD. Yeah, that's what I would do. I have um, an HDD that was, like, my original hard drive when I um, got this PC. Well, my PC that I gutted to then put into my new PC. Anyway, my, my old ass hard drive is where I keep all like my pictures and stuff and like my stream VODs get stored on there before I have to throw them in the bin. Yeah, and then games go on my SSDs. A rose for the cutie? Thank you! Hiya vomit boy, hope you're doing splendid today. I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're also doing splendid. Splendipy nips, as I like to say. Which means absolutely nothing, but... <laughs> I've been reading a lot of nonsense today, so it's kinda... kinda in the mood. I wonder if these guys can drop good seeds, or if they only drop shit ones.
brain melted after that story. Don't know what to call it. Well, the one with the fucking snake picture. Fucking... What was it called? It was called... Chemical... Something. Brother... Bruh. Why can't I remember it? Fuck, what was he called? He was like Brother R Radura or something. And the... The spear that he break? But in the story he didn't even break a spear. I don't know. That's exactly why my brain scrambled. Because I can't... None of it made any sense. Nothing happened. <laughs> Kiss on the cheek for a sweet person. Wah, mwah, thank you. Cabbage seed. God, these things suck. I'm glad I'm not spending greens on these. Hit! Stop hitting me! Ow! Why is there someone else here? Well, there's enough for both of us. In the future, if we get petabyte SSDs, you know there will be games coming out that are petabyte large and it will probably take two hours of content or worse, a survival game. Oh my god. I hate that games are like a hundred gig at the moment. I hate that. It's so annoying. Ugh. One reason why I have to work my through one game at a time. I have to uninstall one before I can install another. Games are way too big for what they are almost in every case. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it seems like game developers don't care about um, optimization anymore. They just, like, make everything as high fidelity as they can without worrying about, like, file size. Shooter games that are 120 gigabytes. What the fuck? I don't play shooters, but dang. I hate how a lot of the 100 gig games have less content in them than some of the smaller games. It depends. Like, my main, uh, like, reference point is Baldur's Gate at the moment, and that game's pretty huge. Like, content-wise. Um, I do wish it was smaller, but that one makes sense to be big. Whereas some others, I, I don't know, man. I don't know where it comes from. Oh my fucking god. So many levels. There's so many of these fuckers to kill. It's so fucking funny that I got a new graphics card over the weekend, and I'm just playing this. <laughs> this game does not need the beefy graphics card that I've got. <laughs> but I'm planning to play other things. Are you just gonna leave those nature runes on the floor, bro? For real? Intense GPU gaming. <laughs> Bro, 
Bro is just leaving all this shit on the floor. If he doesn't grab it after killing this one, I might just go nick it. Are you not real, man? Dude, are you not real? If you're not picking this stuff up. Uh -uh. PC games are terribly optimized as they expect everyone to have supercomputers, which is sadly one of the reasons why consoles are just easier than PC, because on consoles there's a standardized system where on PC there isn't. That's true. I, I do wish, um, I do wish PC wasn't going the way that it is, because everyone seems to think, oh, PCs are expensive, but you can get a PC for a decent price. It's just that the games that are coming out don't want you to have a decent price PC, they want you to have the top tier one. Ugh. It's kind of annoying. Hang on, let me do something. Uh, where's the guy? Look up. Bot detector. Stats too low. Hmm. Okay. seeds. It's been half an hour, so presumably I could go snip branches. But I don't want to miss out on all the loot this guy's leaving behind. <laughs> I want it. I want to scrounge. I hate to say this, but Microsoft make Xbox PC system. You're already the king of PC, as you own Windows, so why don't you make your own PCs force a standardization of PCs? Oh, you mean like a, a PC console hybrid thing? Is that what you mean? Bro, there's nature runes over there. Bro, why don't you want those nature runes? I don't get it. An Xbox brand PC. Ah. Who knows? Runes. Give him. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna go snip my branches, pop some of this crap away, and then we will come back for more chicken killing. Xbox X have really good parts. They just use that shit for a PC and put on Windows 11. Well, like, um... I remember seeing something... Uh, I don't know what console it was for, though. Uh... Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. Um, there was, like... At a convention, they were showing off their new tech. And it was just a PC under under the table.
Oops. The old PC under the table trick. <laughs> Ooh, inkling. Can I grab this one with my bare hands? I don't have a net with me. Come here! What I get? Gold ore. Great. Use. Tree. Here we go. One branch. Can I do more? Two branch. Three branch. Four branch. Five branch. Six branch. And now it should say wait. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Abba. Hello? There we go. Where? Uh, Where? Give me some more cake. Meat pies. From Mrs. Hudson. I don't need that many. Um. Oh, I've got it on. Boop. Boop. I'm hungry. Ah! Why didn't that make a noise? Ah! What is happening? Where did all that stuff come from? Hello? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> was it a ghost? A ghost? Where's this stuff coming from? What the fuck is happening? Why is that random shit? Ah, why? Where's this coming from? Stream ghost. Why is there a... <laughs> you think it's you? What are you doing, Hello? What are you doing and how? How are you throwing shit at me? Laughing too hard? How are you doing this? Explain yourself right now. Hello? I was clearing out the reward request queue. Oh. That means the stone disc just gets thrown at your head. <laughs> but every time there's been a stone disc. That's weird! I wonder why that happens. Why does it work like that? Why do you- ah, why? Ah! Stop abusing me! Also, hello, I didn't even know you were allowed to do that. I mean, I'm fine with it, but- Oh, give me those. 
It's done? Okay. You promise? It's done, it's over. It's weird how the throwables work, but it doesn't make the sounds happen. Very strange indeed. Had the red symbol at me and it was all shit from like 20 days ago. Yeah, I never bother with that because it doesn't like, it doesn't change anything for me. Didn't think it mattered if I just cleared it. Nah, it's fine, I don't care. And I repeatedly assaulted you. <laughs> you did, and it's meme. But it's done now. Wee woo wee woo. Why wee wee wooing? Wee woo. What should I eat today? What do I want to eat? I don't know. Bleh. The fish. Police coming to get Hallow. He'll never take me alive. <laughs> Prepare for death. I mean, I just want something simple, like an egg roll. Hmm, maybe today's an eggy day. Egg. I have to kill 40. I'll be here for 10,000 years! No, I don't want that dagger. Fuck off. Piece of shit. I want bones so I can get my prayer level up because it's kind of pants. someone else here. Oh, you're just passing through. You're probably fighting something more exciting than fucking chickens. Mock, mock, mock. Oops. Hadn't you already done enough damage to my head? I'm so sorry you look so angry, I'm trying to test something! <laughs> What, that you get to have a double disc, but only one of them makes a noise? Double redeem for special little me. Wow. Wow.
Don't give me those bones. Nah. <laughs> That's cheating. Stone disc. Yeah, Hallow's already got loads of points. You're the last person who needs extra redeems. You've got so many points. Give me these fucking nature rings. Hand them over. I'm a little thief. Ha 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 ha! Don't hate the player, hate the game. I like mean. Why do you all like being mean to me? That's not true. Some of you are very nice. I just snorted really loudly. <sighs> you disgust me. I'm so full of glee. Like the musical. Remember when we were talking about musicals the other day? That sure was a thing. Two more. Uh, uh, I mean, I don't have to finish this on stream, but I don't feel like ending the stream yet, so I might as well keep doing it. Wait, why did that message from Hello appear on the stream but not in my chat box? Oh, there it is. Now it's appeared in mine. What? Why? Eh? Weird. Don't get it. Don't know why that happened. Anyway. Oops. Ghost. <laughs> you can't contain me? I'm not trying to contain you. When something weird happens, I just assume it's a ghost. Well, there's no evidence that it wasn't a ghost. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I get it. There's no evidence that it wasn't me either. I suppose. Or it could be aliens. Or demons. Or little naughty fairies. Or Drain Man, I guess. We logged out in approximately 30 minutes. Boo! Boo! It was me. <laughs> the Wiggly Squiggly. <laughs> I love that emote so much. It's so good. I wish I could do that. I wish I could wiggle like that. I want to be made of jelly.
Can I finish this before I'm forcibly logged out? I hope so. Speedrun tactics? It's all luck. It's based on whether I get decent hits or not. Huh. Go fast like Miku Sonic. <laughs> you know, I wasn't sure about the Sonic outfit at first, but then I really enjoyed it. No, give me all this shit. I'll take it. It's mine. Fuck you. Oh, what is this? Desert Voyage. Hmm. Gotta go fast. Gotta speed up. Gotta hurry. I'm in a rush. What? Ah, stop hurting me. What the fuck? This guy's killing things faster than me using his spells. But I don't want to waste runes. Where? Gotta go Grimbus fast. Speedy Grimbus. I wish I could have a Grimbus IRL. I want a real life Grimbus. Either this guy started picking up his loot, or neither of us are getting nature runes anymore. Both are kind of cringe. Grimbus, Slowpoke, and Kabuto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he didn't turn out so good when he evolved. So we just remember him as the little guy. This will always be just a little guy in our hearts, yeah. Grimbus. Uh, Grimbus. Where are the nature runes? They're worth the most money and they stack. Who are you? Fuck off. Got a three of us killing these now? Damn. We all got fucked over. Little guy. Wait, where did that... where did the wizard go? Did he leave? Huh. Okay. Give me that Guam. I need herb lore.
Ow. Nature runes! Oh, more. Yeah, he really just doesn't care. I feel like he's not real. Ow. He's ignoring the guy. I mean, I know a lot of people ignore the guys. I'm running out of space for these brutes. Mm. 14 left to kill. Law runes? Bro! You don't want them? I'll have them. No, I don't want to attack that. I want to pick these fucking things up. Give me this. Runes! Yummy! Ow! Ah! My strength level went up. Yum yum. Simply delightful. Oh, nature runes, yes, nature runes. My prayer level's almost up. stopped attacking. I wonder if he ran out of runes to cast his spells. I'm very suspicious of this man. Suspicious! Lizard mat activating. Me, 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 me. Oh, there he goes. <laughs>
I'm getting there. Oh, he is. He needed that one. That one needed that one. This one's not worth it. Is it? No. I might be in that one. Or maybe I should just pick up runes. I don't know. Six left to go. <gasps> A clue scroll! Hang on, let me eat this cake. Tomorrow might be clue scroll day. I've got like three to do. I mean, that's not going to take all day, but... There'll be something we can do. this cake. Oh, well, that goes back. Alright, see ya. Woo! 28 prayer! Well, 31, I get ultimate strength. Oh, I just got steel skin. Ah. Wow. What do I have before I'm logged out? Is it like 15 minutes? I think it was at like 5 hours and 30. Wasn't it? I don't know. It's the last one. Major runes. Excuse me. Numb. Delicious. Three of these. I've gotten three Ks worth of nature runes. Don't mind if I do. What are your thoughts on the game after two weeks or so? It's pretty fun. It can be kind of overwhelming, like, to figure out what to do. Because there are so many things that you can do. Um, especially when you've got membership. But... I mean, I'm lucky in that I was given membership. Because otherwise, I'd be, like... Either spending money or... Stressing about not having enough money to pay for the next... Like, set of membership. Because... Um, my my other friend who plays this, he was free to play for like years, and then the price of bonds has gone up by so much that he can't keep it up. 
which is a shame. Um, but it, I'm sure it's still fun without membership. It's fun to make number go up. If you like that kind of thing, it's pretty fun. Although it can get a bit tedious at times, but hey ho. I'm Dunsky Dunsky. I've been streaming for six hours. <laughs> Such is my life. I am like this. Um, I'm gonna like cut the rest of the willow branches um, like later and then I can finish that quest tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but for now, we need to go say hello to someone. Ba 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 ba. Oops. Thank you for the stream. Thank you for coming, Mia. Bye-bye, Sailor Boy. Bye-bye, Sailor Boy. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna go raid the Meeple Sheeple. Bonk. Bye-bye, then, Sailor Boy. Bye-bye, Sailor Boy. Sausage roll. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, honestly, because of you guys, uh, that's why I'm streaming longer. Oh, Greg's for your travels? Thank you. But like, um, I, I'm having so much fun streaming, so that's why I keep going over time. Um, yeah, I, I appreciate you guys being here, even though I'm just faffing around. I know I say that all the time, but I do mean it. I do, I do. But, um, <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? More RuneScape until I get sick of it, I guess. Or I'm desperate to play something else. I don't know. If there's something you want me to play, let me know. There's no guarantee I'll do it, but um, if I have it, I'm a lot more likely to play it. Um. <laughs> okay. Pathologic. <laughs> I'm going now. <laughs> bye bye, guys. Bye bye. Mwah, 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 mwah. Goodbye.